Greetings. Thank you for uh, having us here in Vienna. It is always a pleasure speaking with our Austrian friends. Indeed, it is a pleasure to host, as always. How can we assist you today? We uh, requested this meeting due to the danger we so foresee on the horizon in the east. And that is why I've invited a... Uh, they've been kind to attend. The Ottoman Empire's delegate here today as well as those of the Austrians. I think this is a matter that bears some discussion. Very well. The, uh, the eastern threat has always loomed over the Austrian Empire. Um, it is something we've kept our eyes on. Be interesting to hear how you plan to go about dealing with it should it uh, come to a problematic arrangement. Why don't we start with the delegate from the Ottoman Empire, as I'm sure they could underline the threat of the Russians better than anyone else here. The Russian Empire has, for decades now, encroached upon the territories of all of our various nations, from the Kingdom of Warsaw to the regions of uh, Bessarabia and uh, Volnia uh, near the Austrian Empire, yeah, as well as, of course, the Ottoman uh, territories that were once held, uh, the Caucasus, uh, as well as Crimea. We feel that these expansions that the Russians have made historically have been a deep cut into all of our authority uh, regarding Eastern Europe. and. Surely are a setup for uh, the opportunity for other European powers to the West to be able to exploit uh, a possible uh, two-front conflict that would endanger the stability of all of our nations. As such, we feel that it is necessary for our empires to be able to, uh, in a united move, uh, reduce Russian power within the East, uh, Eastern European region. And as a result of this, help prevents uh, such a conflict from possibly arising in the future. <clears throat> to add on to what the Ottoman delegate has said, uh, Kaiser, you know, you know well the danger the European powers present. At the last Congress of Vienna, they made it clear that if one lacked the naval power, one has no ability to exert influence outside of Europe, or so they would claim the Prussians myself and my husband included, feel as though the danger that the British and French would give, since they're clearly working together, would be disastrous for German people and for any attempt by another European power to gain influence and power outside of Europe. Now, the Russians have always been a threat. My own kingdom has been under siege by them many times. There were, there was moments that our entire nation could have been destroyed was it not for chance and, and a bit of luck with regards to the Russians. And we know it is the same with Austria. Now, I don't want to suggest anything radical, but I do think that we need to consider all our options when it comes to the Russian Empire. I hear your concerns and I hear your thoughts. I definitely think that we need to be wary of the Russian Empire. You are right. They are an unpredictable force. Um, sometimes easily defeated and sometimes they defeat us easily. Um, we've dealt with their nation many times before and we are always uh, keeping an e eager eye on them. One concern I do have is should we decide an action it will be met with a reaction from the other nations now france and britain i think currently are on par with our nation i don't think they have the necessary uh, technology especially in regards to your latest upgrade for your naval uh, vessels and um, we'll keep that for a while though i will us. say no i Completely we have understand. reports that uh, we've already actually caught several British, uh, we think are British spies in the Pomeranian dockyards attempting to, to learn how we're doing this. And we're worried that they're going to have a working ironclad very soon. Uh, I, I would be surprised if they didn't. I, 
I, I do believe that poking the bear may lead quicker to our downfall than it would. And any any form of aggression towards the Russian Empire invites the other powers to then. They've already tried picking on us, or at least on the Netherlands, who we uh, who you've decided to protect. They've already stepped over that line. They stepped towards the Netherlands because they thought they could take action without us meeting it. They attempt to corner our allies and deal with them and break them without us. If they had been there, do you remember at that conference? As soon as the Prussian delegation showed up, the the words changed very quickly. This is true. You are you are right. I just think we should exercise um, a an air of caution. Um, we're, we're not meeting here today to suggest an immediate uh, invasion and capitulation destruction of the Russian Empire. At least Prussia's not. We're here more to discuss the danger that they pose and potential actions that may be taken if certain things happen, such as Russia moving closer to the British, excuse me, sphere or Absolutely. something along those lines. Yes, no, I, I agree with that. They are something we should be looking we to deal with. We must remember that this is currently, if anything, a bear cub. Russia yeah. is a great piece of territory. Their lands stretch across most of the world. If they ever were to find true strength, I think alone we would have a trouble dealing with them. As I said, I know I don't think we're suggesting a preemptive action, but I think we need to suggest the possibility for what will happen if the bear gets too strong or it finds itself in the company of our other enemies. That is that is sound reasoning, and we agree. Uh, it may even be worth. I'll, I'll send a delegation to the to the Russians, see where they stand, see what their reactions are. Um, for all we know, they have no interest in France and the United Kingdom, but it, we would be Those things remiss can change very if, quickly, though. Agreed. We would be remiss if we were to underestimate France and the UK in trying to curry their favour. Um, and as it stands, a united front between France and the UK will be advantageous for the Russians to join. Also, I know so. we do currently have a meeting, but we currently have the British uh, invading Nigeria. And I think this is a great time to call for the Congress of Vienna that me and the Ottomans discussed about the partitioning of Africa. Would the Austrians support a formal conference regarding Africa to discuss the future of colonization there? Uh, absolutely, yeah. The, the Austrians would... Uh, I'll be definitely. right back. The Prussians would like to call a Congress of Europe to discuss Africa and the partition of the African states, if you're up for that hastening. I, I will. Uh, you can Im start inviting people. Uh, I will uh, start. Uh, um, Fine. Where's the uh, good channel? Minute. Congress of Europe has been started uh, on the matter of Africa. I'd like for people to come in. They can also try to get people to, to join, I think, especially uh, the major powers and all those that have colonial claims. Yes. We will allow for. Uh, Major powers to come up to the stage. Uh, yes. And they can, as well, I think, uh, live for. Hey, Zach, what's up? What's up, AJ? What's up, Degenerate? Uh, that would be for the a short time. May I request if this is in reaction to our recent war against yeah, this is Benin? This is uh, called by the Prussians. We would like the opportunity to speak very briefly before we get going once everyone is here as well, as we did call this meeting here uh, in Berlin. I'm at that. I think we have just about everyone here. Um, at least the major ones. Countries that matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are called here today on behalf of the Kingdom of Prussia, as well as many other interested groups throughout Europe, to discuss something that was briefly addressed, but never exclusively defined, nor a conclusion came to at our last Congress, not but a year ago, when 
the certain powers attempted to exert influence in the Far East. But this is not regarding the Far East. We wish to speak today on the African issue. We are finding more and more, as are other European powers, that the resource riches of Africa are nothing if not extreme. There is wealth there beyond belief that could build an empire, a superpower, even a modern Rome, perhaps. And the Prussians, as I'm sure many other great powers feel, that this should not be allotted to one, or even two, but split among the great powers of Europe, for we all have the right to claim that which we can take. There are many in Europe, the Prussians included, who are in the process of building up a navy, a navy that could contend any power in Europe. But Prussia does not wish for war. We wish for economic peace and free trade, like the British espoused not long ago. Therefore, we are formally proposing that in this meeting here today, gentlemen, we define the lines in Africa wherein nations have a right to and where they do not have a right to. If truly the delegates of France and UK and others believe in peace in Europe, then we should set down here today who will have what and make it fair so all powers will not feel the need to fight a great colonial war for the riches of Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I give the share to uh, Great Britain to respond to this. Uh, great Britain wishes to pass. We do not understand what this uh, exactly the matter is and will wish for to take a seat later in order to be clarified on the situation. I believe what the Prussians have asked for is uh, that the great, great powers shall divide uh, Africa between themselves uh, for um, for peace. Uh, frankly. Correct. We um, wish to define regions where certain powers are able to colonize and where others cannot. For we already see the French and the British, uh, as well as the Portuguese, taking large swaths of territory. Well, many of us and the Egyptians nothing. and the Ottomans. Correct. The Ottomans are not in Africa. The Egyptians certainly are, though. Uh, the, Ottomans besides, besides have, uh, the Ottomans have the Tripolitanians. That's true. That's true. North Africa is more complicated. But to start off, we'd like to hear the opinions on the primary colonizers of Africa at this point, the Portuguese, the French, and the British, and hear what they have to say about this proposal. And I will remind them before they speak that this is the path towards a peaceful resolution, one where we will not need to go down other paths. Certainly not one Prussia wishes. So the Prussian wishes to divide up uh, Africa between ourselves in a Congress of Vienna style? It Correct. seems rather adversarial. adversarial. This is something that could be adversarial had behind would be closed for doors. us to put together a coalition to fight the French and the British and to stop them from seizing all of Africa. This is a cooperative meeting, one where we can draw lines will we'll not start wars. You keep making threats about coalitions against us when we are merely colonizing the world, uh, colonizing Africa due to our capacity to. Of course. The reason that Germany has on, and other countries have been unable to colonize Africa is due to their own capacities, as they have stated. You're building a navy, yes, but it is nowhere near the naval power of even the Dutch to be able do to you not, colonize. Do you not sail ships of wood? Uh, the, the British do not wish to have this argument over again. Does the Prussians wish to offer a proposal first? Yes. We wish for all of the uh, great powers of Europe and major powers and colonizers uh, here today to be able to define certain regions of Africa as their right to colonize where others cannot attempt to do so. That is what we're proposing. Yes, this is uh, possible, but we do not understand exactly what modal modes you wish to decide this by. We have maps, do we not? Well, yes, but... As you can understand, uh, the British have quite a lot more of the continent, and At the present, French yes. and the British have already had this conversation. The, the French, the, I'm sure you I have, will, but you are sitting here with the rest of Europe now. The, the French will del the French delegation will concede that the, it would be more fair for the other European powers to get parts of Africa. However, um, given the current situation in, with the Muslims in West and North Africa. The French will continue those those claims due to the uh, legitimacy granted to us by the Sultan of the Ottoman Turks. Um, we will continue to colonize West and North Africa. However, I am willing to talk about the rest of Africa 
and concede that certain of countries. Course, and, and if you should... if you if you wish to stake that region to be the the area you wish, that's completely fine. Yes, but, well, uh, we, as part of this agreement, we will we will move forward, uh, but we will continue, we as part of it we see this as our legitimate claim. <clears throat> That's fair. I mean, you, you, if you wish for that region, that's fine, but that means uh, much of the rest of Africa will be go to others and not yourself. Uh, the British representative would once again request that Prussia make a proposal. I've already made a proposal. No, you have made... No, I have made what a proposal. What parts of Africa do you want? The we're Belgians not, were we'll, given part we'll, of the we'll Congo as they requested like it. I'd like to hear from the Spanish, the Austrians, the Italians, the Dutch, and the Belgians first. The Swedish, perhaps, even if they wish for colonial matters. For those who have not had a voice in Africa, we call upon the other powers to speak, and we would wish to hear what, what you would like out of Africa before Prussia would even uh, wish to, to speak of our own interests. Is, is there any chance that uh, Two Sicilies herself could get um, Nambia and Haro? Her I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uh... The Two Sicilies doesn't, is not even a recognized major power. And is not who, who has two Sicilies yeah. to this yeah, chamber. Yeah, the two, the two, two Sicilies, Sicilies are, are, are what, what is their uh, status? Uh, they're, a, they're a minor power. They, they have no voice here. Yes. And they have already violated one of our colonial spheres already. The Spanish, the Dutch, the Belgians, the Austrians, and the Ottomans, the Swedish. Those are who we would wish to hear from here. And the Russians, perhaps, too. The Spanish delegates would like to bring forth uh, the Spanish crown's interests in the region above the Congo. To clarify, this would not interfere with the Belgian claim that's already there. This is due to us already having territories in that area. Uh, does anyone lay claim to territories currently occupied by Portugal? They have taken large swaths of territory, so that would need to be discussed. To, does someone lay claim to Portugal? Is the that parts the question? of Africa that Portugal controls is what you refer. No, no, no. The question is to Portugal. No, 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 not to Portugal itself. Rather to Zanzibar and to uh, the, Af the east coast of Africa. So the Spanish wish to take claim to the area north of the Congo. That's good to hear. What? Uh, what of the Austrians? What say you? Are, this, are the Austrians here? Let me, he's not invited up. I'll invite him up. Thank you for giving the Austrian delegation time to speak. Appreciate it. Um, the Austrian... So the Austrian uh, delegation would like to express interest in colonizing uh, the eastern regions of Africa. Uh, I can see... We can see Portugal has uh, grabbed swaths of land uh, in that region. Uh, we don't wish to take these, merely just to uh, uh, take the kind of unrecognized region area. You speak of like Zanzibar and Mozambique and the things uh, in, in the interior from there? Indeed, yes, that is the mm. case. I reject the notion that these are simply unclaimed. If someone wishes to be informed of what regions are claimed by France or England, they could ask us if we lay claim to them or not. That is what claim to much of Africa already, unless you wish to give up more. We were your, under the assumption that there was no interest in other nations up until this Congress, apparently, in which well, we you have been informed they claimed all of it. If you wish to request these nations to be gifted to them, then you may make requests to England. I think you understand. This is not a situation of request. This is a situation of distribution of African territories. I, if you wish yes. to hold on to your current ones, I think it, you will have much less option to claim other regions, unless you'd like to have some sort of a transfer I, or something. I do not understand this. Arc. I do not understand where the Prussians get this insistence that we do not are not allowed to have other regions. Wait, we're not saying you're not allowed to have it. We're just making it clear that uh, this is a distribution of lands in Europe. Unless you intend to fight all of us, I don't think we do not intend to alone. fight. We understood that colonialism is business. Does Britain have Global the trade need system to control all these territories? Horribly complex. The, the global trade system is horribly complex, sir. We do not no, I know. understand I'm not an economist. where. Do you think that we're overextended when we are the ones that extended first? We are simply grabbing so. up parts I of the I mean, they're not mutually exclusive. You can overextend yes. and also extend first. 
yes, but we have a lot of hostility about this. Expressing our where is, where's this aggression within... coming from? It's not aggression. Yes, we it is. Really, We've been we... to Congress of Europe. And are we, told that we are not allowed to have any parts of Africa. That is not what we're we saying. Not what, we're saying our current ones. what we are saying is we would like to create ventures within Africa. We don't want to go somewhere where you're suddenly going to be start demanding that that's your land after we've colonized into the region. Yes, we want like to prevent a war. We want to prevent a war by establishing clear lines where we can all colonize and everything will not delve into a European war over this matter. And it's simply all we are trying to do. Yes. D was there any notion outside of Europe that there was resistance to this? No, we're trying to prevent in case. Let's, we don't let's know. Briefly, uh, hold on, let's briefly list what Britain currently lays claim to. Large regions of Western Africa, all of the Nigerian Delta, which is very valuable, uh, parts of nor Northern Eastern oh, Africa, Ethiopia, the world that the Prussians have already Africa. intruded onto the Niger Delta without even yeah. informing the British ground of their actions. We felt no need for it. Then why but do you feel that we should have need to we're, inform we're open anybody to else on our claims? Those lands to you. Don't go should there just not here. then be a free for all in the world? Did you not? There's no. To me, there's no respect on. for if other British nations. Delegate could listen for just a moment. He would have heard that the Prussians said we're open to transferring that territory to you. But that's why we're having this conference to discuss who will have what in the future. All right. Then what is the proposal for finding out how to do this? We're we doing it right again. now, are we not? So the Austrians have suggested that they lay claim to the region of Zanzibar uh, and in the region in the interior from there, as well as perhaps Mozambique. Now, I'd love to hear from uh, also the, the Dutch and the Belgians, who we haven't heard from, who are great colonial empires of their own. I think it would be more advised to hear the Portuguese first, whose lands are in question right now. Well, if you wish to speak, go ahead. Yes, thank you very much. We see or understand the anger of certain European nations behind the lack of their colonial holdings. But I just want to remind all of you that every nation had the opportunity in the past and will have the opportunity in the future to grab whatever uncivilized land they want to grab in Africa. However, in, in the good faith, the Kingdom of Portugal can give up the region of Zanzibar in order to avoid any wars between the European nations. Okay. Portugal simply has a right to, of course, colonial lands, but the issue here is that you have claimed so much of the coastline of Africa that many nations would struggle to get anything in the interior and have them unconnected to ports. Um, of course, Portugal should maintain large colonial uh, territories in Africa, but unfortunately you have just taken so much of the coastline, I don't think there's any debate here that certain ports will most likely have to be uh, granted to others simply due to the fact that you would have, I mean, a, a half of Africa if you didn't do that. Uh, I, I believe cer certain slots should be uh, proposed to be divided up. I, the share would like to propose uh, one such being Zanzibar and the territories uh, in the interior of uh, the Lake Tanganyika as one of these slots, uh, perhaps to be named Kenya. In addition, uh, the share would like to propose uh, name the slot of what is now uh, the Portuguese Zambesia and the lands uh, in the interior from that port. Um, one slot in addition, of course, is the great interior of uh, the Basque Congo. Also, uh, the, the southwestern territories uh, currently uh, under the Kosian uh, and Cavanobanto peoples. In addition uh, to, of course, Nigeria, and uh, yes, there, there, there are many such slots. If if, if um, the parts of Europe would like to lay claim to any of these, uh, we have not heard from so. the Dutch yet. I, I believe I would like to hear from them as well. Well, the Dutch, um, the initial uh, expansion uh, opportunities that the Dutch held were within the west african region we agreed to the uh claims of the french and therefore we do not desire any uh islamic uh regions within west africa and we also uh see the british expansion into ghana and due to the crisis uh over dahomey 
um, we wish to also uh, not we will we will rescind any uh, prior claims we had to the Ghana region. However, the Dutch would like to lay claim to the region of uh, Nama uh, Namaka land uh, within the Principality of Windhoek, um, as that is close to the prior Dutch Cape Colony and also has resources that would be helpful in the Dutch Empire's expansion. And that is uh, that is the main region of Africa that the Dutch Empire would like to lay claim to. Do anyone have a map out currently? Can someone, can we, can someone bring in a, a big map? We need a map. we got a big table here. Yes, the, the British have a map. We were not informed Beautiful. we shouldn't need to bring one. Well, the British um, are well prepared, we it seems. some research the on the is, is is to have a map. Uh, and then uh, paint over it. Uh, I think. Does anyone have? Uh, yeah, we need. We need something very, very bold. We could draw these lines with. I think. I think if the sir uh, could make such a map. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, open. So the Spanish have laid claim to the, the regions north of the Congo. The French have laid claim to northwest Africa, as well as a large region of western Africa. The Portuguese have uh, wished to keep a majority of their territory and get more. The Austrians have laid claim to the eastern regions of Africa. The Dutch have laid claim to the remnants of Madagascar. And what was the other area? Um, the... Oh, I, forget the I forget the modern name for it. The, uh, the Namaqua land with uh, the Principality of Windhoek and Herrera land. Uh, oh, I see. Just to the region. south of the Congo. Yes. Uh, Very well. Pretty much. Could, uh, could, could I ask the Swedes I slob to... Uh, Were the Swedes that intend to, to colonize? I mean, uh, I, I would ask for the Swedish delegates to perhaps bring forth a map. As I said, I think he's asking for a map. Yes, oh. I, 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 I'm thinking about uh, we lay down a map between us, and we will all, uh, in accordance to how we're well we should. Out of our peer, are you actually grabbing a map? Uh, 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 some we can make like uh, a, a map and then write over it if you want to open like paint or something. Yeah. Uh, from from a screenshot of the game or like an actual like normal map. Either one. We haven't heard from the Belgians either. It seems they're already laying claim to the to parts of the Congo. Yes, thank uh, th thank you. Merci to the uh, uh, to the Prussians. Uh, we wish to speak last as we are a very young nation. Uh, just got our independence. And uh, we would wish for everyone to uh, f figure out what they, uh, their claims first, then uh, we will discuss at the very last. Uh, first, I would like to speak that uh, we require colonization efforts because we are a very industrialized nation where we are exporting uh, uh, luxury furniture, arts, engines to not just the Prussians, the French, and the British, but basically Europe. And we wish to feed your hungry economies. Uh, uh, s sorry, we wish to feed our hungry economy to f fulfill your uh, people's wishes of uh, decadent items. Uh, so we, uh, with the help of the French uh, joint cooperation, we have uh, taken over uh, the former principality of the Congo. Uh, for now, we are uh, doing well, but uh, I, I can see that we require more soon. We, uh, we, not only we have we have quinine, but we are also getting close to finishing the civilization uh, mission. Uh, so the on, we do not wish for much tension. So we would only like the uh, claim of the Congo uh, only. Uh, we uh, uh, we understand and respect everyone as a major nation. Uh, so uh, we do not wish to interfere. Yes, I do understand that uh, that conflicts with the Portuguese, and uh, we are to discuss that. Uh, uh, personally, I have an idea of what uh, we, the Portuguese and I, could uh, uh, figure out uh, what to do. Uh, but I believe um, not only have we uh, our claim to the Congo is much stronger, 
uh, especially with uh, we just finished mapping the region with our Commodore uh, Werner Varghese, uh with our newly bought uh, uh, <coughs> brig. Uh, we thank him very much. He named a waterfall after himself. Uh, we thank beautiful, him. beautiful. Uh, so you you wish to claim yeah. the Congo then primarily, correct? Yes, uh, the Very issue well. is uh, dividing it with the Portuguese. Uh, that we, is, that we, um, is a reasonable anyone... matter and one that can definitely be discussed, but let's uh, let's finish up the major uh, claims first. G g g gentlemen, I, I can't share screen in this channel somehow. Oh, shit. Um, why don't you just to... work on the map? Like, we'll, we'll say you work on the map and then you can post it for everyone. Okay. Uh, Are you cool with that? I will have to... Yes, do that again, sorry. You can put a picture uh, of it uh, and then like we can all see if we agree and that kind of thing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, once again, uh, from the start, Belgium uh, claimed... Uh, the Northern Congo region. Northern Congo region? Uh, well, I believe, the, for now, the strategic Congo region, uh, and we will discuss... The, uh, the say, Saeed, all of it. Where, where, where would you claim end? Would it, would it be to Lake Tanganyika? Yes, uh, we uh, as the uh, the in the inner region is very inaccessible to most nations. But with our uh, commodore, he found many pathways, and that is where we like to finish our claim. So you're claiming uh, all of modern day DRC is that correct? Out of, out of RP, I think if the people who are claiming things, if they just message you in text the specific yeah, states, yeah, everyone just right? DM the regions that you're claiming. Yeah. Also, before right, we so before we continue. Prussia would also like to make our claims, and that would be for the northeast of uh, Africa, including Egypt, the Somali coastline, and the interior. I'm sorry. Lake. I'm sorry. What? Wait. Well, hold on. One moment before we continue the RV thing. You want uh, to mm -hmm. puppet oh, Egypt? Hold on. Wait. Wait. Hold no, on. Real quick. No. Certainly hey, not. We're starting to Hastings, right? Not Swiss. Who's Who's making the map? Sorry. I just want to make sure. Hastings uh, is making I'm, the map. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So yeah. we're so, okay. Sounds good. It does sound like uh, the United Kingdom will not be left with anything at the end of this. You are uh, claiming all the Nigerian Delta, are you not? And southern West Africa? I am mistaken. I can have the Horn of Africa if he, if he wants. Horn of Africa too? The, the Horn of Africa in Egypt? Uh, sorry, not Egypt. Uh, Ethiopia. Oh, no. There is, however, one uh, additional thing the Spanish would like to add to it. The claim, and that is the area of Cameroon as well. Uh, Spain. At the moment, parts of it is held by the United Kingdom, unfortunately. But that is a matter uh, I hope can be resolved. Uh, that would be uh, South Cameroon, yes. That, that province? Yes, uh, as well as North Cameroon. So Spain would have claim on uh, Cameroon. Uh, another another way to help uh, is like do a snipping tool and then just draw on it what you claim and send it to him. That would also probably Yeah, help. yeah, that would that would also be good. Yeah. I'll do that. Uh, so no South Cameroon and North Cameroon from uh the Sokoto. Correct. Uh. Uh, shall we fill all of Africa in this session? This is the general outline out of RP4. I mean, where the things go away right? from England, so why not? Uh, we, the Prussians would be happy to, uh, to trade our claims on the Ethiopian and Somali region for the Nigerian region, if the British would like. I am flabbergasted that all this is uh, happening. Especially without our consent or wish for input. But Are you interested in tra trading continue. claims of the Ethiopia region for it does Nigeria? It not seem that anyone is interested in the British claims, so... No, we're, we're to it up would you like, would you like North uh, East Africa? We would be happy to trade for a claim we were, on Nigeria. I do not understand the way it was the desire, a need for us to clarify our needs. Is that a no? It does not seem to be relevant. Yeah, and no, they're not interested, interested unfortunately. To... Interior to all, but down to Rwanda, including uh, mm, I'm trying not to make a phallic image here. Sorry. Uh, somebody is claiming the L L Luanda. Luanda, yes, correct. Oh, is Luanda. any respect for British claims going to be? Listen to during this expedition. You, you wish for Nigeria, just, right? You already, are we just you've dividing already up the United it. Kingdom overseas? Uh, 
Hold Why on. doesn't somebody ask for Britain, India Britain, next? do you or do you not want Nigeria? Yes, we colonized it. So you it. have a massive swath of territory with lots it. of people and resources? We, we Did you wish for Western security Africa security as well? Signal. But apparently reality is uh, not needed here, I guess. You may continue, but, however. Truly, the, the British are, are impoverished with their massive amounts of colonies and control of the Nigerian Delta and all its resources. Horrible. Horrible, indeed. The Nigerian if that Delta. is how the, the Prussians wish to start a war, then that's how they wish to start a war in Europe. So just to make this clear, the British will not be acknowledging this conference and will be declaring war on the other nations that are going to be colonizing? What more delusions do we have to Great. tolerate from these Great Prussians? Britain. Great Britain, Great Britain, I ask that you please, this is the French, please sit at this table and at least acknowledge that we should somehow divide up our claims so that they aren't, that we don't lose colonies to war or unrest due to... Okay. There, there has been claims from the Portuguese to link up all of Africa between their east and western holdings. Uh, that is extremely unreasonable. All the central I area? Oh, that's extremely unreasonable. Okay. The Austrians I already came, uh, claim that portion. If they mean from like the area of like Marquis over to Angola, what happened perhaps? to informing us of this? You, I, think, I just I want to remind Evan that it works. The intention of this meeting is to avoid war in Europe over Africa. It does seem that all parties wish to have a war. The though. British have always spoke on. about their love for peace. To, the Prussians seem to be antagonizing us at every step, and no one objects to this. I obviously do not. I, I obviously object to aggressions from the from the Prussians. However, the French delegate must uh, must explain or must you must see Britain that we we cannot divide Africa among you, me, and Portugal when Portugal is in your market. It's not it, the the rest of the European powers just need something. So they're simply. We asking, understand this, but it simply, seems that we're not even being considered asking, a part of this. Even though we are the. Foremost yeah. experts in the world of colonialism. We're simply asking you to put forward in good faith places where you would maybe give up land so that you may gain land other places. I, we don't or believe this is where you, you could convince Portugal. So you're refusing to, to even cooperate with to, this meeting, to, is what, to, what you're saying. The Prussians are, the power? I don't we, are, we are open to these questions, but we do not understand why the Prussians seem to need to threaten us with war at every turn. We, are, we can do what business. What did we threaten you of war? You called the Council of Vienna. So anytime there's discussions of the war threat to Britain, that you wish to go anytime to war people, people speak of this. not letting you conquer the world, it's a threat of war, that seems aggressive no. from the British behalf. You are the one that is constantly bringing up the word war. We don't understand what's going on. We're simply Does everyone agree with the British spoke about at the last meeting, which is that we seek to avoid uh, a world war. Uh, we could, could, could I ask the Dutch to please send a picture of their claims? You spoke uh, much at the last Congress of Vienna about the need to avoid war. You spoke of yes. it endlessly, and we agree. It's a very noble noble move on behalf of the British, and that's why we called this meeting. It was moving on what the British had proposed. You inspired this conference, if anything. We accept this, but we don't understand the form this is taking. You said Where, you when it, when is war? the British are going to be allowed to present their maps to the world? Well, what, what would you like to claim then? Or is this the map of the world simply entirely be accepted as what British? What do you wish to claim in Africa? Everything. And then well, he yeah, says yeah. it plainly for all oh, to hear. There we go. There it but is. If, if people wish to make requests to no, us, they could have made, made requests to us at any time. You made your opinion very clear, I think, you, here. You are not understand. the custodian for the entire continent of Africa. We thought we were. If it had been you a problem, they could have let but reality is catching up with your We are now here. letting you know we have a problem with you considering yourself the sole custodian for Africa. Yes. That is unacceptable. And you could have made it in a less aggressive manner. We have made this isn't aggressive. There's been no aggression. This is not aggressive. Sir, you've called a Congress of Europe. You need We're to stop. Simply trying to a Congress of Europe is a lot of opportunity uh, for uh, us uh, to uh, talk. This year upholds that the Council of Europe is not aggressive. It is uh, an opportunity for us to discuss and talk without any notion of needing to wave around our mighty boomstick. All right. If, uh, the, if the British representatives' words are not wanted, then we shall remain silent from now on. We may continue to divide up our claims. The the Dutch would uh, just like to say that we have uh, we've set our claims. This year has has given uh, the lands of Sokoto north of uh, north. Cameroon uh, to the UK, does 
Does the United Kingdom not wish to claim anymore? In addition to that? I believe he promised to stay silent. Oh. Hopefully he's a man of his word. Uh, the the, the share shall uh, allow the British delegate to not to be silent in the rest. We shall uh, find out what is taken from us at the end of the con Congress, we believe. We shall remain um, silent. Has anyone at claimed... This, in this very moment, the delegate from Russia walks up to the delegate from the United Kingdom and gives him a paper. Then returns back to his seat. Uh, it is handed to the chair to be read out loud without looking at it first. Uh, Repeat the question? The paper uh, is handed directly to the chair and to be read out loud. The French... Uh, <clears throat> I'm not receiving Can I just uh, write in the paper? Shall I... Uh, Amer... It's the piece of France claims right. Chad in, in addition. Uh, and, uh, uh, for the British delegate, I, I understand. Once, once more, uh, could, could the Dutch please send a mess? Like, I don't know the sta all the states. Uh, uh, the, 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 we did, we did send you one. Just do, um, do, a, do a, do a screenshot, it's way easier for please, to do it that way. Uh, the British rep, I, I, out of RP, I shall, I'll say it, just, sorry. Uh, the note says, what are your views on Central Asia? This is the Congress of Africa, not of Asia. Yes. Um, and, uh, we, sh if, if, if the Russians wish to focus in on, uh, Asia, then they can do so at a different meeting. And different time. Uh, uh, I believe that is a very. Has, has, has anyone laid claim to. Wait. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for the Dutch to actually. Uh, well, well, the Dutch are confused as they have sent. Um, they have sent their claims. Uh, in where? But, oh, in where? The, 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 I require. A, the, the meanings of words in these parts have, have not yet be, been decided. It's it's easiest for us to... For example, Congo can mean many things because there have been many places called Congo, uh, but, but of course, Basque Congo. Yes. Monsieur, we, we would require uh, it to be uh, in a map, please. Uh, yes, speaking of the Congo, Monsieur Moderator, I have sent you... I am sending you here a paper. Uh, I hope these initial claims, uh, uh, which is in mindful to the Portuguese and Spanish, uh, 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 yes. The you, Austrian you, delegation you, you, would like to raise to the uh, powers of I, Europe that what should happen if Britain decides to ignore this Congress and declare war on a colonial power in order to take their nations. Then the chair would would uh, That's, propose that would be a big the issue. Defense, the chair would propose a defense alliance. Not much. I mean, Prussia's not going to band together with all the colonial powers for an alliance, but like to stop the British, perhaps. Uh, once, once more, uh, I would ask the Belgians perhaps to not claim uh, one third of all of Africa. Uh, understood. Uh, we can revise this with the other powers. Yes. <clears throat> Uh, I'm, uh, Britain, I, I simply ask again, please, to participate in, this, participate in this meeting and lay make your claims that you have that you claim lay bare to the whole Congress. You he already said what his claims are. It's said, it's oh, all of Africa in, in, a, in a reasonable manner that is not just for posturing. Please, expecting reasonableness out, from you? the British delegate is a tough ask. I will say. Please just place forward a reasonable claim so that you can maintain the, like we can maintain the peace in Europe. I don't see why this is the unreasonable demand from the rest of Europe. The representative from Great Britain maintains its silence. Yeah. Uh, the Portuguese just want to remind everybody that we have a holy mission to unite or 
colonies from Mozambique to Angola, and we have this even if, even in our constitution. So this is something we claim which we cannot uh, give up. But as we stated before, we are ready to speak about the status of the colony of Zanzibar. Uh, no one, uh, once more, uh, no one has laid claim to, uh, uh, sorry. What's that been laid claim to? Uh, uh Gabon, in addition. Where's, uh, Gabon? Uh, north of, uh, Congo. Uh, that is it. Um, the Spanish would... Perhaps the Spanish and the French? Yeah, I can't do oh. that in the... No, um... The Spanish claim Loango. Or, no, Gabon, sorry. Not Loango. The state of Gabon? Yes. Oh. Hmm. With this information, this is very useful. Uh, we will revise our borders. No, sorry. It was in Belgium. Uh, Spain. That is that's that's the color of Spain. Is there any? Uh, does the chair have any uh, other territories left unclaimed, or do we have uh, the beginnings of a of a of a map here? The beginnings of a map, indeed. Uh, mm. The show waits if if the nations will accept uh, the claims of Portugal in in between uh, Mozambique and Angola. Mozambique was to be given to the Austrians, was it not? The, the whole region they'd claim to the eastern portion there. My understanding was that the Portuguese would get anything uh, close of Zambezia. Uh, the, uh, the Austrians have indeed claimed Zanzibar uh, and territories uh, in the. Uh, Did the Austrians not wish to claim the Mozambique region as well? I apologize. I'd like to hear from them. Uh, no, we are willing to cede the Mozambique region to the Portuguese. Uh, we will discuss separately with the Portuguese in regards to reparations for the Zanzibar region, as we do feel it is it is a slight on them to take that uh, freely, but they have expanded their empire a bit too far, and we'll, we'll speak to them politely in regards to that. Uh, the main problem with Portugal uh, taking a lot of their regions is that because they are in the British market, anything they take will subsequently power Britain. Uh, Britain, who is uh, a dangerous power and doesn't wish to discuss uh, formally uh, the division Perhaps of Africa. Perhaps if the Portuguese would agree to leave the British Customs Union, they could claim all that territory, for example. What would the Portuguese delegate have to say about that? Is he here? Portuguese, I believe. Uh, Zolix, are you here? Uh, Portugal? It appears the delegation has left. He might just be busy or something. Yeah, yeah probably. Uh, a question to the Belgian. Sorry. Yes, uh, here we are. Okay, it's that, that Angola. Per perhaps the powers could agree that Portugal could have those regions as long as they read the, leave the British Customs Union, though. Would, would the powers agree that that'd be reasonable? I agree. That sounds yeah. reasonable. Hmm. I think so. I think that's a major part of the issue with the British right here, is that they don't seem to understand that through the Portuguese and themselves, they've laid claim to more than 80% of the African continent. Uh, I mean... The French support them in their claims, and we originally had put the four our claims, but we do agree uh, that this has become problematic for the to maintain the peace in Europe. We fully agree with the French on this. Uh, as do the Austrians. Oh. Well, the, the, the Portuguese simply have to respond, and we're, as soon as we hear from them, we will know. The Ottomans would also like to uh, make a small statement regarding... Uh, the various regions of Africa. Um, we understand that uh, much of it has already been claimed, 
Uh, we simply are seeking to protect our fellow uh, Islamic brothers uh, within the al Abbas Emirate, uh, Kenga Emirate, and Safawa Emirate, uh, which is uh, to the northeast of uh, Isakoto Caliphate. We additionally would uh, like to offer uh, compensation to the British uh, for this if it uh, does upset them. No that words from the Ottoman. I'll be sending a thing to you, Hazel. Uh, have, have, does that Ottoman name any particular claims? Uh, that would be the uh, region of Chad, Wadai, and Borne. Chad, Wadai, and Borne. I'll send it to you. Uh, the French have laid claim to that. Would the French uh, allow that claim? Um, I think we can discuss that between me and Portugal, or me and Ottoman. Okay. Uh... Ach okay with this. Yes. Is there any area that we have not covered, or do we have uh, to have we covered everything here? I believe uh, the territories uh, of uh, uh, the Portuguese have already in possession of that. I'm sorry, uh, Portugal is that color. Uh, they claim that, and they claim. I believe they claim that. Yes, I believe that's all. I will uh, send oh. this version to a revision. Uh, I will send it. Are you posting in the general? In... Yes. Yeah. Portugal, I do see you're back. Can we get a confirmation that you're willing to uh, agree to the proposal that you would maintain the claims that you wanted through all the, the southern regions as long as you read the British Customs Union? Can we get a response from the uh, from the Portuguese delegate, please? This is an un absolutely unacceptable solution, a resolution for the Portuguese. So you're you're unwilling to do this then? No, we are not willing to leave our British brothers. In that case, we'd like to formally propose that the eastern regions of Portugal uh, be, be be given to, to someone who's not, it appears, a British puppet state. Oh. Uh, the chair would be willing for any proposals? I.e. the remainder of all of the Portuguese colonies. Well, the Dutch do currently have Madagascar. Perhaps it would be a region to be split between the Dutch and the Austrians, then? Uh, well, uh, by which... That's not reasonable. Uh... Because of this ridiculous Russian claims, the Portuguese delegation decided to leave the Congress. Huh? The well, Polish uh... representative would like to speak. We have Did, a you, did you not make a vow of silence? At the claims of law and order, a contract signed under duress is not a valid contract. And the British Empire no longer believe that we are acting or being allowed to negotiate in good faith and have shall withdraw from this. You, you may present your list of demands. Of we ask you multiple times. We have not been allowed to negotiate and we shall take reception you chose of the not demands. To. You had more opportunity to make your claims and you chose to stay silent. Again, disrespect to Great Britain has been shown. We understand that we are being forced also to the that not to here sign any deal and that law. We all have our position systems. on this matter will be ignored fully and therefore we shall accede to the demands of other nations. Good day all. I weep for the destruction of this Congress system. It was a beautiful thing that we could have used to avoid war, but has been corrupted by the Prussian so. Good day. Tragedy. It was he who spoke of peace so much, and yet he who gives away peace for his own ambition. It's a pity he left. We did not have 
uh, time to discuss how the um, the part of Cameroon which the British currently have will be transferred to the Spanish crown. Well, they're, they're, clearly, they're, they're clearly not going to sign the treaty, so whatever treaty we have here... We, I think we need to also discuss, as the Austrians brought up, the possibility of what we'll do if the British attack us. It seems quite clear they're going to at this point. Yeah, they won't abide by this uh, democratic process where we've all decided to follow. So we are most likely, if, if we try to colonize the region, Britain may take hostilities against us. A question, will, will France join the coalition against uh, not the Kingdom if they... We'd be very curious if they if they don't agree to this process. I mean, France has been given huge swaths of territory here. The French obviously agree to the legitimacy of this council. However, uh, we will say that um, we would like to avoid war as much as possible. We do think... That, that is why we're here. We do, th <clears throat> we do think that um, if war should erupt, that the French would side with the, this coalition. Uh, as long as we all recognize the French claims laid forth in the treaty that uh, you would sign. That sounds more than reasonable. That's completely reasonable, absolutely. Well, we'd like to take a moment just to thank the French uh, for their uh, diplomatic uh, diplomatic view on this, uh, this thing, and I, we're glad that we were able to reach a, a peaceful solution with you. Well, the French think that it's important to maintain the peace in Europe as well as uh, have strong nations that can fight against the growing problem of liberalism and republicanism. Um, but it, we, and we do acknowledge that as part of that plan to keep our countries the way they are and maintain the status quo, that we need to uh, feed our economies raw resources to our people. Back. I fully understand uh, why these countries think that they uh, need parts of Africa and elsewhere. While they are legitimate, I do. I will also say that to make sure that the, the countries that have taken piece of Africa, uh, part of this deal is to maintain uh, order in those areas, to maintain uh, the European overall markets access to these goods. So, any country that cannot is unable to hold onto their lands due to unrest, rebellion, and things such as that, uh, I do think that we need to be careful. In countries, I, I do issue a warning that. Uh, that we need to see this as a, an economic issue for all of Europe. So the, the Prussian delegation would just like to, to agree fully with the French on this. It is important for two reasons. One, we cannot allow liberal ideas and extreme politics to appear in the, in other regions of the world than Europe. Europe, of course not, but especially in regions like Africa. It's prime for, for all manners of extreme ideology. Uh, the Prussians would like to formally offer the use of our military and navy to put down any insurrections if needed by extreme ideology. And we'd like to call on the French to assist us in this if uh, trade unionists, extreme ideologues such as that appear in any part of Africa uh, that we work together with any power to, to destroy such dangerous things. The Spanish delegation would like uh, all have received a letter from Madrid that British colonies have begun appearing in several areas of the western coast of Africa. The Dutch uh, would like to bring also attention to this as it has uh, appeared in Dutch claims within the uh, region. As well as Spanish and Belgians. Already they overstep. As the they British have shown have. that they do not care for international see, 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 law. Seeing that uh, the British are in a position to this council, the chair would ask if anyone would like to propose a course of action. Hmm. For, for starters, they, intend, they uh, intend to destroy this treaty here and here and now. It seems. Yes. The, uh, the Dutch would propose that we should probably come up with a, uh, a solution of defense for this treaty and its uh, signing members. I, I have a proposal. The Prussians have a proposal here. Although we are all very, shall we say, reliant on British trade and goods, there are many in Europe now who have the economies to sustain global commerce. We propose a non-violent solution, since this gathering here today was intended to uphold peace in Europe. What if, for any nation, whether it be the British or anyone else who breaks this treaty, all nations gathered here today would embargo them. 
it would be a crushing economic blow to their uh, economies as they are a global power. They uh, rely heavily on selling their goods to us. It would benefit all the nations up. gathered here too. I mean, who would pick up that slack in trading? If I was not trading with the British, I'd have to go with the French or the Spanish for goods I need. Indeed. I, I agree that uh, any hostile uh, uh, procedure must be countered, but I, uh, I must uh, tell uh, remind you all uh, that we buy p uh, many goods from the British, uh, including iron tools, fabric, to fund your munitions and engines to not uh, to, to both Prussia and France. So I, I I would like an embargo, but uh, I will remind you that my Belgian economy will definitely break. Unless there is another... Uh, For Prussia, I would be happy to help you with your iron needs, as I'm sure others in, in Europe would. I mean, gentlemen, there's no denying that embargoing the British in the short term would be a little hit on our economies. But in the long term, we would ensure that we all have access to new markets that would make up for that. And in addition, we would be forced to build, we would all grow economically. What the British would lose, and we would lose in the short term, in the long term, would flow into the other European states. Those who truly care for peace and commerce. Yeah. If you say what you say, Prussia, then I will uh, honor the deal. I, I shall buy your quality iron from the Great Rhine. What says the other powers? The Dutch would uh, support a total embargo. The, uh, the French will as well. We don't need to just immediately do this. I suggest that the delegation sends an ambassador to Britain first to see if they'll be reasonable and honor the deal. But if not, then we will have no choice but to take this action. The the French see the see this as a very damage a potential damaging uh, economic move for the rest of Europe for a little bit. But we can most likely get through it as long as everyone's markets behave properly. Um, However, uh, should a war erupt in Africa, I do ask that the war remain in Africa. I, get, I understand that many of the European powers uh, wish to see the British uh, uh, hegemony over Africa removed, and I agree, but I do not think this needs to be any sort of war over European soil. So any sort of diplomatic arrangements we make with the British or any sort of declarations of war that are made should be made with that understanding, I, I think, is, uh, is important. Uh, of course. However, the uh, Austrians would like to say that um, while we may all agree to that, I don't feel as if the, uh, the British military will uh, honor that agreement. And so should they step forth in uh, lands that aren't colonial, um, then... We, uh, we would suggest that other nations take that step as well and then uh, promptly uh, The other question is if this war land. does occur, what if the British start to raid all of our convoys in Europe and patrol the North Sea, the, the, the strait between England and France, and destroy our ships? What then? I mean, they would bring the war home to Europe. Would we not be forced to take action? I mean, I feel like that's, that's definitely true, but I think uh, everyone's navy needs to be built up before anything escalates that quickly. The, uh, yeah, I think we're the all Dutch in the process like of that. Point, the Dutch would also like to point out the combined strength of ours and the French Navy alone is uh, greater than the British. So with the other European powers, hopefully we should be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Royal Navy. I would remind you all that uh, the British indeed have ironclads. The Prussians would like to formally, though it is, I'm sure the, the general staff will will be quite upset with me. We would like to formally offer assistance uh, in modernizing your navies with uh, ironclad blueprints provided by the Prussian uh, naval designers. The French have already moved forward with uh, with this months ago. We've, we've already moved. We are currently in the production of ironclads, despite what it might show. It's good to hear. The Spanish are also in this process very close to uh, building is, is there any proposals to strike or merely to embargo them? And... We'll go with embargo we'll, first and we'll see what happens from there, I think. Uh, will any 
Seeing that they have started colonizing most regions uh, claimed. Uh, May, uh, who, who would like to send the ultimatum to the British before we embargo them? Is there any delegate here who wishes to brave the channel? I will happily go and let them know our plan to embargo and give them the opportunity to uphold the deal uh, should they decide um, to work with us in this matter. Very well. I shall send over the delegation now. Uh, in addition, it's all all in attendance and uh, and agreeing agreeing with the uh, the proposal sent prior to this. The uh, agrees. We, we would like to comment, though, again, if the Portuguese do not agree to uh, leaving the British Customs Union, the northern region of their eastern holdings would go to the Austrians and the southern regions to the Dutch. That's our only caveat. But besides that, we agree to the map. Uh, the Netherlands shall have a claim uh, to... Shall, shall we uh, link up to east and west as well? Uh, for, the, for the Netherlands? The Dutch, uh, sorry, the Belgians uh, did not agree with this. It is merely too uh, too strong. Uh, unless they, of course, uh, leave the market, then we can discuss further. As the I, 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 I'm, is, I'm is speaking of the uh, Netherlands. Mm, and the northern part to uh, Austria, Hungary. Uh, well, well. Uh, I shall update this and send it, send it once more. What's the tactic? Have all have everyone seen the revision? Or yes, yes. Yep. The, the Dutch uh, delegate thinks that that is a sufficient uh, in the event of Portuguese and British uh, trouncing of this uh, treaty. The Belgian delegation agrees. The and, Austrians uh, are back. They're trying to get back up on the stage here. Oh, um, I shall accept them. Um, sorry. Hello. Uh, oh, I have returned. Uh, my delegation has returned from the British uh, Parliament. It it appears that they are completely uh, abhorrent against any idea, and so therefore it is within the uh, Austrians' view that we should all uh, embargo them as per the agreement as they refuse to acknowledge any of our claims. Is everyone here committed to this agreement? Hello. Oh. The, the French agree. Very well. Also, the Prussians agree? It's, it's, the Spanish agree. The Belgians agree. agree. Very well. Very well. Begin. The French... Sorry, the... 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 the, the, the shed did not hear France. Uh, France agrees. I don't RP, I'm gonna have to damage relations, but as soon as that's done, we're gonna embargo them. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I I will inform you that uh, it appears that the Irish have already gone gotten wind of this and they're emigrating to Cuba apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, gentlemen, oh. I think that we have secured a future for all of Europe, for all colonial powers, and our God-given right to exert the European power over over the rest of the world. I I, I am very, must say the Prussians are very happy with, uh, they're saddened that the, the United Kingdom would not cooperate with us. The the Dutch would just like to make it known that apparently the British have a treaty port on us, yet I, uh, I am unaware of where this treaty port may be. Oh, hmm. 
Sure. That's it. It's, uh, it's making it impossible to embargo due to this. But uh, I don't see where this treaty port would be. Singapore, I think. Oh, uh, apparently it's in Ghana. But what? <laughs> yeah. Um. How? Huh? I'm being told it's in Ghana, but I don't really see how how it would logic that as a treaty port. I mean, <laughs> maybe it has. Mm. Oh, um, the Dutch East Indies would uh, uh, like to speak on the stage, uh, if you could allow uh, my colony to uh, have a voice, please. Uh, Wurmel, can you raise your hand? Also, we have been in here almost an hour, so yeah. Heads up. Yes. I was about to. Say. I think we got to call this right after he's done. Yeah. Uh, I agree. This is, after all, a, a big treatise. This is uh, the probably the right. most important meeting we'll have all game, but still. Yes. Hmm. Uh. <clears throat> um. God. Is he speaking or what's happening? No, 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 I'm, 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 I'm yes. Uh, I'm yes, overwhelmed by Irish people. Sorry. Uh, I, I invite him to speak. Uh, where uh, is he? Dutch East Indies, you're, uh, you're allowed to speak. Yes, you're allowed to speak. Oh, he's. We're not here. If that's not all, I, I would uh, invite uh, a member here present to uh, make uh, a formal, formal declaration to the world that we have uh, successfully divided up Africa, and that this is the jaw in accordance to all here presents, present, any uh, non signatory holding land or any signatory holding land not given to them is that is, is in opposition to this council and is seen as unlawful in the possession of such, such territories um thank you all for attending this conference in berlin uh, thank you all thank you all right i know that took a while but that was really fucking important for many reasons and uh Hello there, Ambassador. This is a, a talk well due. Greetings. Uh, um, we obviously understand you have uh, imperialistic ambitions as you are a great power. We do. Um, we wish to say, uh, we... Can, I, can I start for just a moment? Can, do you mind before you go anywhere? Can I say something very briefly? Yes. Ambassador, we, we, we know that you have obviously taken this line in Ethiopia, but uh, unfortunately, I think there are many in Europe who would actually see, if anything, it to be a threat. Uh, you tell conquering all this territory without any right. Uh, the Germans, of course, now claim all of Ethiopia, Somalia, and the interior there, and we do intend to take it. But before anything else is said, I would much prefer Hello. that Germany and Egypt be able to cooperate here, and that we might be able to, to, to benefit one another. We would be happy to compensate you for the territory and work more closely. Subsidies, a trade deal, things like that. This, if anything, could be a boon to Egypt. That's all I wish to say before you continue. I, first of all, I am ready to parchet some territories, but not all of Ethiopia. So, uh, if your assistant can bring them. What, what regions possible. are you are you wishing to retain? Um, I think uh, the principality of Tigray, of Welo, Begum Der, Godjam, and Welega. Uh, would be enough for us, and the rest can be yours, sir. We will give you one simple offer. We'll allow you to keep Eritrea, Tigray, and Begimder. Begimder? Uh, those three regions we'd be willing to let you keep. Eritrea, Tigray, and Begimder. Um, with uh, compensations? Of course. In which way? Subsidies, as well as an economic deal, if you would wish to trade more closely with the British. 
I'm sorry, the, the Prussians. Slip of the tongue. How uh, much uh, money would you give us in compensation? If I was to subsidize you, you would get 13,000 a week. 13,000 for um, how long? We'd be willing to give it to you for five years. Five years, though. So, uh, I'm just gonna re-say it. Uh, Tigray, Big Gemdel, and uh, Welo. Uh, Big, uh, Eritrea, Tigray, and Big Gemdel. I think we're being quite generous here. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I have one more demand, but uh, it would be tricky, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, would it be possible that uh, you recognize us as an official power, as we are one of the most oldest empires in the world? We would be willing to recognize you as a power, but in exchange, we would want to keep Tigray and Begimder. Mm. Uh, we, we're gonna accept the previous deal then. Very well. You will keep those three territories, we will subsidize you, and the rest of it will be ours. We have a deal then? Yes, we have. Uh, I'm gonna start transferring uh, the states to you. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, we constructed many uh, coffee plantations in the region of Am Ala. Uh, if you would uh, export uh, some to us, that would be great until we. Um, Result, uh, we built uh, many uh, plantations in uh, Allah. Uh, we're gonna need some uh, until we buy, uh, until we build uh, more. Yes, we, we, can, we can absolutely as well. cover that for you, of course. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you, Ambassador. We will the transfer sooner, as, uh, as soon as you start uh, paying us uh, the money you needed. Of course. Well, thank you very much. I'm uh, very pleased we found an agreement then. And we are very pleased too. Hey. Ambassador, or I apologize, Kaiser, I, I must say, the Berlin conference I, uh, went quite well. I think so too. We have successfully alienated the British Empire from the rest of their allies, and I think we have the European main then poised against them. Right, excellent work on your part for that. And and, and to the, the Austrians as well. Uh, that was truly a very... Uh, well, I mean, the effects of this will be felt for the German people for generations. Indeed, this is, this is most excellent. I'm very excited for the future and what that holds. Regarding uh, the, the regions of Portugal that they own, which it appears they're not going to want to give up. Um, Indeed. We're going to most likely have to use, you will have to use force there to take that. And we just like to reiterate that the Prussians are willing to support you with that. We appreciate that. We're going to try our best uh, in order to take them diplomatically. We're not asking uh, for a lot, but as long as we can get a foothold, it should make taking the rest quite easily. So we'll probably start small with them first and see if we can maybe purchase some land off of them. Uh, at least of give us a staging ground. Or further, as we, uh, as you are well aware, naval invasions can be quite, uh, quite a hassle. I think the Germans have a little way to go, both in Austria and in Prussia, to learn that particular military craft. But yes, uh, I apologize if this is a bad time, but uh, I just well, talked like to, to the British, Sorry. and they have said that you have not clearly stated what claims they need to give up in Africa. I, I told them many a time they refused to listen. I, I laid it out quite simply. I said to them that they need to uphold the agreement labeled in the Congress of Europe. There is a map uh, for they the simply to see started the parroting that they don't they don't understand that they don't want to they, they refuse to listen and refuse to answer. There's not a lot we can do in regards to that, so we simply stated that they will be in Barlow. If you would like to talk to them that if they if they uphold the agreement labeled uh discussed in the congress of europe between the rest of europe then we will happily unembark it trying to make things more peaceful here it's not that, that is all we wish as well but britain appears to be uh, doesn't want to listen to us 
I mean, I did hear they said they literally wanted all of Africa, though, so... Indeed, no, yeah, they, they, they quite considered loudly. themselves... <laughs> yes, they considered like themselves the sole owner of all of Africa, which is... Oh, the Portuguese they should speak. Indeed. So, it looks like that we also had a misunderstanding in the Congress. And uh, the British... Uh, I mean, the Portuguese delegation in the Congress thought that if we are leaving the... British market, the other nations of Europe would uh, still take away regions from Portugal. But as we heard from the Dutch in the recent uh, meeting, this is not the case. Can you confirm it? If you were to, uh, to, to lead the Customs Union of Britain, you would be able to keep the territories outlined in the first charter on the map that we, that we suggested. How about this? The Portuguese is... leave the British Custom Union in three years, so we can prepare our economy for the total collapse. We can give up the lands in Zanzibar to any other nation who claim that, and we can uh, connect our lands and keep every other lands we have in Africa. Also, we are willing to give up our uh, colonial holdings in the Dutch East Indies as well, just to keep the Africans. If you need assistance in leaving the British market, the Austrian Empire will be quite uh, amenable to subsidizing your nation while you get back on your feet after leaving the market. Russia would also be willing to subsidize the Portuguese if you'd be willing to grant us your East Indies holdings. Would that uh, seem reasonable for the Portuguese if you'd like to, if you could leave the British market uh, now? And uh, again, the agreement still stands. You would keep your uh, the first agreement uh, labeled within the Congress. Which is Which a sizable ch the, uh, chunk of Africa. I mean, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah, you get a fair amount. So if you have a look, it'd be the out of RP, it'd be the first picture. So you basically would get the kind of southern regions of, of Africa, and you'd we, hand over Zanzibar to, to the Austrians. But can we keep any other region that we already have in Africa apart from Zanzibar? Yes. yes. So Zanzibar will be the only one you lose, and you will gain the kind of interior regions of the, the southern uh, Swana, Botswana region. All right. I think that's acceptable, although I think other nations might have claims uh, in the region of the East Indies, so we would like to... We, would, we, we can work that out with the Dutch, I can assure you, but as long as you to agree to it, leave that to us. Yes, we can agree. So, just for clarification, the Portuguese Empire will leave the British market uh, immediately in exchange yeah. for giving up Zanzibar and for the Prussian and for the Austrian Empire to subsidize the Portuguese market. Yeah, while well, you stabilize yourself. Correct. Which is, can be like, agree on a period. I mean... He said we'll three years is what you under a review. monthly review, I believe. Well, he said he needed three years to basically repair already, so I think three years would be reasonable. Yeah. yeah three years yes. Works for us. Yes. Very well. I think we can come to an agreement. Then. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, out of RP, you're gonna publish it, or somebody gonna like? Uh, I don't know. Make the whole thing. The whole... We could do a, an RP Ooh. post. Uh, we only got I an hour and a half left, to, or no, we got two and, a, two and a half hours left of the game, so yeah. Well, I tend to do my posts in between games, but if you guys want to do it now, that's fine. All right, we're going to make, make the RP post then. Cool. Let us know when you've left the market and I'll join and then do the transfer for yep. those answer part as well. Yeah. And then All as right. soon as you leave the Thank market, you. let us know when we'll subsidize you and then we can work out the transfer in the, obviously, a save edit, so. All right, thank you very much. Cool. Well, problem solved. Excellent. I knew the Portuguese would be most amenable. They were just worried about their economy. It's understandable. Look, yeah, completely understand. Well, However, I know this is, uh, I have to say, you. we're walking out of this conference with a, a dramatic reshaping of global politics. Indeed, absolutely. I, th I think... I must admit, I was hesitant about working with the Prussians. Uh, you're a new up-and-coming nation, and your ideas are quite unique in terms of how you manage your country, but I believe this uh, 
partnership so far has been most effective. We agree. I mean, we also have had a long history of Austria. I mean, land that is ours was once yours and such as the other way around. But we do have our shared Germanic heritage, which I, the, the queen, find to be very important. Many of my husband's ancestors looked first to their own prestige and power before anything else, but I like to think of myself as a bit more practical when it comes to a future for all Germans. Indeed. I'm glad that is the case. Is there anything else that we need to discuss here, uh, Kaiser, before I, well, before we go about uh, securing uh, the future of our own nations? I don't think so. I think for now we have everything covered. Um, should anything change, I will uh, definitely reach out to you. To this Wonderful. Trip. One last thing, if you, if you, yeah. I wish, wish to speak with you before you leave. I, I have a, a young daughter, uh, I believe she is 16 or 17, coming of age very soon. If you truly do wish to cooperate more between our houses. I think a marriage between the royal family of Austria and my own, uh, I apologize, my husband's family in Prussia would go a long way for showing Germans our solidarity. Not an alliance or anything, but simply a political marriage. Something our two houses I don't think have done in quite some time. No, indeed not. Um, it is an age old tradition that I believe in this modern times have been left ignored, however, I believe it is an important one as a, as a show of unified strength without a, a, the need of a formal alliance, of course. And we have uh, our current heir is, in fact, 22 years old. Um, that may be a reasonable. Uh, Perhaps we could host him here in Berlin for, for a couple of weeks so he might meet with my, do uh, with my daughter and uh, see if the two get along, see if it's a good match. Indeed, that that would be. I can I can send him off right away. He's not doing much. His studies uh, are almost over. Indeed, so Good. I can uh, I can send Franz Joseph over immediately. Wonderful. I'm very glad to hear that you are agreeable to our offer. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Kaiser, and I, I hope we will meet again very soon. Indeed, it's, it has been a pleasure speaking with you again. Did you do? All right. Well. I know that was long. I know that was long, but goddamn, uh, this, this is this is an interesting fucking game. I can't believe that the United Kingdom refused to cooperate in that fucking deal. I do get it on their behalf. The British, like the the ego of the British Empire in 1853, would just be like fucking ridiculously large, and he RP'd that. But like, my God, we're walking out of this. Let me let me clarify what well, we're walking out of this live, okay? We got Ethiopia, we got the interior of Africa, we're gonna have Egypt really heavily cooperating with us and probably a really good reason to ask for the Suez. We are going to have most of the European powers now friendly to us for securing them territory in Africa and hostile to the one person who could potentially rival us, which is the British besides the French, of course. And we also managed to secure from the Portuguese the territories over here, which we have to go talk to the Dutch about. But given we just secured them a ridiculous amount of Africa, I, th I think they might be amenable to it. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a minute though. I'm diploed out. That was like an hour. God damn. Anyway, that uh, that worked out quite nicely, I will say. Speaking of peace of cooperation, Europe and beyond. God damn right. Yeah, we we secured all this without firing a single shot too. Do you think you get Egypt to be in your market? Yes. I think so. I think if we play our cards right, absolutely. How much debt do they have? Almost a million. I'm gonna give it a couple years, but we are going to, the next thing I'm gonna do with Egypt is I'm gonna offer them closer economic cooperation. I'm gonna offer them a guarantee of their political independence. We'll offer them to take on all their debt. And uh, in exchange, we're gonna ask for the rights to build the Suez Canal. So that's, uh, that's our next our next step for Egypt. How will you get your hand uh, land, uh, your land from Egypt? He's gonna transfer it. No, we're gonna do a save uh, edit, so it'll be transferred us in between this session and the next one. So, yep. Oh shit! Really? Oh fuckaroni! Who instigated this?
It's in Central Asia. This is the ambassador from Russia. We're curious to know what's going on currently in uh, in Central Asia. So, out of RP, I didn't know that uh, the Ottomans were protecting them. Um, ah. That's why well, I wasn't here last yeah, time. Yeah, <laughs> we're both just like holding the line for the white piece now. So. No, I understand. I right, just wanted to check and see if we're not about to have a world war. Yeah. All right. It's, it's not going to turn into anything. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. You know, there's another issue we're gonna have to deal with too, which is Schleswig-Holstein. Hmm. This is this is German you land. Uh, Your Majesty, uh, I've uh, uh, we've, we've spoken with uh, the British delegations once more, uh, and mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, they wish to come to terms. Uh, Adolf Peter, he he's colorblind, so he's freaking out. Uh, of oh, didn't Jesus! Know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so he's gonna agree uh, to everything. Yeah, uh, he 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 would like to ask if if he could uh, um, have additional demands in addition to Nigeria uh, with the European he, power. I mean, he refused to yeah. RP. Like he refused to negotiate in the deal. I mean, that's the thing. Like I'd, I'd say like, yes, but he's gonna need to negotiate with individual nations and buy territory from them. Is what it'd have to be, right? Yeah, yeah. more or less. Uh, with Portugal as well, uh, like, yeah, I, uh, he kind of, <laughs> he's responsible for this himself in a, in a really large way, but God, uh, he made his bed here. Normally I'm yeah. not for fucking over a player, but like, I like, let's yeah. be clear. I was trying to outmaneuver Britain in that deal, obviously, yes, but yes. he literally shot himself in the leg repeatedly and then just shot his head and yeah. they laid down and died yeah, like yeah. you know yeah 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 if he, he's, he's just uh picking out um yeah i mean uh in the same edit i'm happy to transfer him the niger delta as well so you can put that request yeah, and yeah. i have no issue there and stuff like that uh i think I, i'll speak with him and say that he can take like uh I mean, you can have no a chance with a French cannot... player and see if he's okay with him taking like a bit more western, like southwest Africa or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. over there. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, because he, he has stopped colonizing in Western Africa? Uh, yeah. Hmm. So I think he's trying to come to terms. I think that he he should probably. Uh, I mean, he also has his whole fucking empire. He's got India, Australia. He's, it's like it's yeah. not like we should be like world's smallest violin kind of thing here, right? I mean, he's he's got a yeah. lot. Yeah. Prussia, I, I get the UK is stressful. I do get that, but it yeah. is also yeah. what you yeah. sign up for, you know. Yes, uh, I will speak with Austria about perhaps uh, Britain retaining uh, the Kenyan uh, thing. Where? Uh, I mean, he's that's, you know that's his in, only in, in claim, right? Kenya. That's like the only thing that the the Austrians have demanded. The, yeah, the Austrians uh, did get like, uh, if you look at the map once more, uh, the Austrians got uh, like most of East Africa. No, because the Portuguese have everything. Like all he has is Zanzibar, and then the interior up there. That's it. Mozambique is going to stay Portuguese. I see. Yes. Uh. Also, yep. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to speak with him. Um, when you're thinking anything, the British player will be incentivized to go after other colonial regions too, which will create more crazy stuff, which will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. If I was Britain and I put myself in this situation, I'd be looking at Asia and South America pretty fucking closely right now. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um... 
I'll try to have a... You talk with Sweden, you guys could split Denmark down the middle. He already conquered it, though. Uh, Denmark is, uh... Denmark's in a PU with the, the Swedes, I think. I did not. I thought they were. No, they actually don't. Damn. No, I was wrong. Schleswig and Holstein are in a personal union with Denmark. Okay, I see. Never mind. Force the government change. I got you. All right, never mind. I'm completely wrong on that. What happened to Portugal, there was a demand of the conference that they basically leave the British Custom Union to retain a bunch of their territories, which they refused. Uh, they did agree to it. Uh, they did Later on, they agreed to it after everything happened, because they realized that Britain's a pretty... It's a big ship, and it's sinking. Any plan of peacefully annexing Paulson into the country? In the future, yes. It may create a diplomatic crisis with the Russians, though, which is why I'm waiting on it until we're stronger. Sweden has a PO in Norway? Yep. Uh, when the truce ends, I'm going to vassalize them because of the, their opinion of us. Fair enough. Do we have the explosives? No, we don't. Alright, economically, we really need to get access to some dyes here. Not the, well, the British we can trade with because they're going to abide by the deal, so we'll keep trading with them. Let's go speak with the Dutch. We have, we're very confused as to where that two million went that you gave me, Spain, because I bankrolled uh, the East Indies, and um, it, it, they didn't get it, even though I was bankrolling it. So I was losing it from my uh, thing, but they weren't gaining it. It was very strange. But either way, yeah, either way, it's gone now. So <laughs> someone used it somewhere, maybe even the ether. Uh. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. I am the uh, economic minister to the Queen Consort and King of Prussia, here to speak with the Dutch when they have a moment. Yeah, sure, sure, certainly. The uh, Dutch are all, have all the time in the world for the Prussian uh, delegates. Wonderful. <laughs> we, we, would, we would just like to uh, obviously say that we are very happy with the results of the Conference of Berlin and hope that the Dutch were as well. Oh, we were We were very, we were very satisfied. Uh, we even had a... An, uh, visiting from the Portuguese delegate and uh, we set some uh, some factors straight and I, I believe they uh, have come uh, to their senses now. They have. As well. uh, they, we, we worked out a deal with them where they've agreed to, to uh, break off from the British. Uh, and in doing so, we orchestrated a deal with the Prussians and Austrians will subsidize them until they balance out their economy for three years. And in that, uh, they agreed to transfer us the territories uh, they have in the East Indies there. Now, we know, obviously, the Dutch have a large amount of control in that region, but given we're going to have to subsidize the Portuguese quite a lot for it, uh, we wish to see one of two things. Either if the Dutch would be okay with us controlling that region, as we do need many of the resources there desperately for our economy, and if not, if perhaps the Dutch might wish to, to trade like another area that they have less interest in or something along those lines. Um, well, uh, the Dutch government, uh, we, we uh, have no qualms uh, with uh, Prussian influence within those uh, islands as the territories themselves are quite small uh, we believe the Dutch East Indies is of a the governor is of similar opinion as well um, yeah the the territories are um, they are of no threat to uh, obviously to Dutch influence and uh, we understand that the Prussians would uh, not want to risk our stability either so of we course. have no also, qualms would you mind for you would you forgive me if i take a quick trip to paris I, I see something bad happening in southeast asia that's very time time sensitive with the french oh that's quite all right yes uh, we'll be here right. when you get back hello there this is ambassador hello. sent from queen consort louise of prussia to speak with the french i'll go to paris real quick so we can speak very well uh greetings how may i help you we find it very concerning that you are currently uh, in the process of conquering territory which has been laid claim to by the Kingdom of Siam, an economic tributary of uh, Prussia, and we wish to know why you did this without consulting us. I mean, this is not German land. This is clearly this is clearly uh, a territory of the Qing Empire, which you have no diplomatic relations with and is not a recognized power. 
This is not. This you has are clearly a yes, but the Siam has laid claim to it publicly and wish to to say that they had planned to conquer it. Uh, they are again an economic tributary of Siam. So let's let's start with first. Why simply you did not approach us before you? Uh, I don't listen to the. Well, I'm not. Why would I approach Germany over my war with well, I'm sorry, China? Not Germany. We, Just we because, are the Kingdom of Prussia. I'm sorry, King of Prussia. Why would I talk to King of Prussia? Why would I talk to King of Prussia about my war against China? When it's because some tributary that you claim in your in your market lays claim to a part of the world that I must then check with the Prussian king, like this is insane. I very clearly am making war against the Qing, the Chinese, which has nothing to do with the Prussians. So I do not need very to well. come and see you. If you would like to hold, if you would like to hold a conference or talk about maybe how we can we're, split up we're, Asia we're or gonna the take, East, uh, we're, we were going to take action in Asia too. You are going to create a scramble here as well, which is fine. But we are prepared for it militarily. I'm, I'm not well, with I, you, of well, course. I'm, I'm not trying to fight or anything like that. If you would like, I, oh, the I French have no, have no fight the French. I'm, I'm just saying at this point, I'm going to go speak with my friends and allies and prepare a, a large region of Asia to be well, very quickly conquered. I mean, I'm willing no, to speak to you right now about the issue. Russia. I'm willing to speak to you right now about the issue. The French have uh, no... I'm happy to too, but you are in a war, and you're, this is time that you could be taking more territory. And again, there's others I would need to. I mean, talk this to war about. is over. This, this, we've already. Well, it's, it's going to be over within days. It's, it's already over. It's done. So I, I would just, I would prefer to talk to you here. The French have no territory in Asia. Okay. I agree that the Germans have legitimate claim to. The Prussians currently out of RP. Out of RP, the East Indies that the Portuguese hold are mine. We just have to wait for a stage transfer. Sorry, currently which owns part? Wait, which part is? Which part is? The Portuguese region of the East Indies is currently uh, Prussian. Portuguese regions of the East Indies. Oh, those little tiny islands. Okay, so I acknowledge that the German that or sorry that the Prussians have legitimate claims in 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 Asia, but so does so do the French. Now, if you would like to talk terms in a more mature manner, like we like we did previously, uh, unlike the British. I'm more willing than willing to split up uh, well, the main, Asia, the main issue you and I You're trying it. to, again, conquer territory, which has been publicly claimed by the Kingdom of Siam, a good friend and economic uh, partner of Prussia. I, mean, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even acknowledge the legitimacy of any claims of a minor power in Asia. I'm just, I'm speaking the issue to is you not right the, now. No, it's not their claims. We, the issue here, France, uh, it, the ambassador, is that they are cooperating with the Prussians, and their claims, therefore, are our claims. In a manner of speaking, our interests are their interests. So you, so you claim directly... all of Vietnam without you you claim all of Vietnam without consulting any of the other yes. European powers? Yes, Siam does. Okay, Siam, get out of here. You're not. No, he, he's a good friend and partner of Prussia. He, I remove him from Paris. I remove him from Paris. Very well. We will be leaving well. with the uh, we will be leaving with the Siamese delegation. This is Thank you for your this time. is ridiculous, Prussia. I don't understand how you could possibly not. I'm willing to split up how the hour you fit. Let's talk about it. Like, let's make a deal. We, of course, acknowledge the right of the French to have territories in Asia. We just, well, for one, we would like in the future when you do plan to take territory, if it is an interest on behalf of any of our sphere. We didn't realize that the course. Chinese lands or Chinese te uh, Chinese vassals were in your interest. We apologize for that. However, okay, that's we fine. can now if, move if this forward. Is a miscommunication, I completely understand, and we can move forward then. Yes, yeah, so we can move forward now okay. with both the, the understanding that Asia should be split as well like Africa. I agree. And I think that there's legitimacy we can, we can to, the German, to, to expansion of the German market and things like this. I, I, I totally agree. However, uh, I mean, this this war is over and we can we can talk about like how you want to how you see the future of Germany or of, um, of Asia to be for the European powers. As I see it, the French have no colonies in the area and we would enjoy, we should enjoy colonies just like the other European powers in this area. This would be our only colony in the area. However, um, if you would like to talk, maybe uh, I could see the recognition of the Laos territory towards Siam as being acceptable to me. I could see the territory that the East India Company holds in Siam. I would agree to supporting the Ger uh, the Prussian, uh, should a war come with the British, I would agree to the transfer of those territories to Siam from the British East India Company. I I'm very amicable to terms uh, as far as Asia goes. We obviously uh, will have to speak with the Ottomans regarding the regions that we they have taken there, but specifically to the regions of Anam. Uh, well, I would love to hear from uh, our good friends in Siam. What regions was it specifically that you had claimed and had desired? He, did, he, he left the channel, but uh, no. he can come back in. I just I didn't want him like obviously the French diplomat wouldn't allow 
Siamese diplomat to speak to. I know, but they're they're the good friends can, of us. That's what I'm saying. You, so. you come, you, you can tell them to come back. Yeah, Sam, like, are you okay I, to come back? We 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 we're 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 wanting you to speak here. Oh, okay. Um. Good day. Uh, what is the issue now about? I was just. Uh, I would. Um, I would suggest to the Kingdom of Siam uh, through the Prussian diplomat that uh, we have a more even uh, relationship in the east. In the east. So I would uh, consider the current lands of the East India Company to be given to Siam should a war with the British break out, as well as the Principality of Laos in return for the recognition of the Vietnam colony in um, northern v the French Vietnam colony. Laos. Um, it's the country directly north of you that's currently occupied. Yeah, I see it. Um, Siam would like to repeat that it believes the entire peninsula is theirs, but seeing as matters are developing, for now we can find ourselves in such an agreement to that, and perhaps in the future we can find a peaceful solution to these lands. So for now, a yes is good enough? Yes, that's agreeable to us. Hold on, what's, uh, what's this diplo for that you're doing here? What is this for? Oh, treaty We're gotcha, preparing okay. to take treaty ports. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, well, I read that. I thought that was the first doing that. Okay, um, okay. So, uh, yeah, so we could see... We, we will acknowledge that uh, Siam's right to conquer Laos. And um, should the relations with the British continue to deteriorate, we would like to see those lands of the East India Tramp Company uh, ordering Siam to go to Siam as well. Um... Now, yes, Germany, this, we yeah. very much agree to, and this was something we were, to be quite honest, already preparing for. That sounds good. Well, uh, so to you, Prussia, uh, we, we recognize that the colonies that uh, per formerly of Portugal and the Kingdom of Siam is under your protection. We will see any other further expansion in the region, we will come to you. Um, I don't think we need to call a conference of some sort because uh, I think that'll just uh, cause the other powers to want to shake up the status quo, and I think this is a good status quo that we've achieved as far as uh, things go. Um, I would also like to add one last thing, that I am in talks with potentially the Ottomans of uh, buying their southern Vietnam territory, so we will not need to see um, uh, 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 Muslim power in that region grow. That's something that you were worried about um, from Siam. Yes. But uh, when you go to war with the sublime Ottoman state, there is a small piece further on in uh, the lands, Opan Diang. Yeah, so I, I would, I, I, so as of now, all the Ottomans are a great power. They will, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The Ottomans as of now are a great power, and um, I think that any sort of, I think that it would be best for the foreign policy of Siam and Prussia to allow the Sultan to continue to keep those lands there um, until we do have some sort of Congress, if that, that makes sense. That's agreeable. Yes. I myself am very new to all this, so I will follow the great Prussian's example. I think that after uh, flare-ups between the continental countries and Britain have subsided and those lands have transferred to CIM, we can then move forward talking about other, other lands and other ways to support the continent of Asia. Acceptable. Okay. Very well. Yes. Again, Prussia, I apologize if there was any diplomatic insult. I did not know that uh, this land was claimed by you or your tributaries, and uh, we simply have uh, growing calls for republicanism and uh, a republic in France, and the only way we view uh, stopping it is uh, these continued wars. Each time we have one of these wars, the people are... Uh, less likely to rise up, friend. I understand. Just in the future, we ask that you uh, do your due diligence and ensure that there's not some crossed interest. And again, it sounds like this is a miscommunication, and we fully accept that. Well, good day to you, sir. Thank you very much, and uh, we hope both of you have a good day. You as well. Good day. I need to go talk. All right, let's go talk with the Austrians. Sorry about that. I was stuck uh, de-escalating with France. We're good though. Uh, so we are prepared yeah, for the same war. thing with Britain. 
I fear not. Okay, uh, I am prepped. I'm just double checking my navies are all okay. 50 active, 23, uh, 20, 20, 20. These should be okay. Maybe a bulk of That should be fine. I should be able to navel them. So this works better than before. I have upgraded them, and I currently have. I think our militaries are both much more advanced here. Yes. What happens? Russia. Yes. Uh, Hello. Can I get a can I get a subsidy on that uh, British market? Uh oh, Prussia. Sorry, yeah. Are you leaving? Are you leaving right now? He's left. I, He's I left, left. I left. Okay. I left okay. Um, roll to, We need to improve our relations. I'm improving. Just improve your relations with me as well to go quicker. Wonderful. As soon as they're up higher, I'll be able to start subsidizing you. All right. Do they really only have 37 battalions left? That's because the rest yeah. of them are engaged with the British, uh, the French. Jesus. All right. Well. Okay, here we go. Let's hope that we actually do better than last time. Fingers crossed. We have okay. spent many a time working on this, so... It, it feels our military is statements as well. capable, but... Africa. I'm just, just going to make a post when you're not I'm done. Mildly blindsided by this is... Uh, I've recognized the British claim of the Kenyan region. There was just some mild disagreements there and so I just in order to calm tensions hopefully that should uh, not lead to a war very well that is your choice to make Russia hello sorry I know we got whisked away there yes uh, we I'm just about to go into a war so I'm going to be multitasking as best as I can but were we discussing apologies it was... we were discussing uh, the matter of a certain Muslim power to our south Indeed, yeah. So, what is it you you are uh, you are looking for in regards to? Uh, so, I have to to ask. Uh, is uh, is is a safe topic to talk about uh, with the Prussian uh, delegate in the room? I can I can be frank. I can be frank with the the Prussian delegate. Uh, Prussia, you might want us to be mildly privy. No, uh, Russia's player. come to us uh, with giant, big concerns. Uh, the... There is an oh, Ottoman delegate in here now. I, I would like to just make that clear. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt because I know you're having a conversation about me. Um, the, uh, so, like I uh, said, uh, Russia, I'm going to be just like pulling out my troops to be able to let you do that because I realize that like you're losing the battles. So I'm just going to pull out. Um, but just don't take territory, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we're agreeing to a white piece. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, please continue. Uh, yes, yeah, so... Sorry, I'm just gonna... Oh, you... The micro for some reason in a game that wasn't about war. Um... <laughs> yes, so, as we were discussing... Basically, we're... Con uh, Russia's concern... Alright, I'm gonna meet up real quick. They can talk. I'm not too worried. This, this is more for them. All right, guys. So today, this is a very, this is a very diplo heavy game, which I love, but I know it does make it a little harder to to talk with you guys. Pressure treaty ports in Korea and Japan. So what we're gonna, what we demanded in the war, two treaty ports. We're gonna take Hong Kong, and then we're gonna take uh, Quanzhou, and then we're gonna liberate Burma and try and later on bring them into our sphere. Reparations from the Qing, and then the Austrians are getting a treaty port too. So that's what we're currently going for in this war. We're about to launch a naval invasion with our very modern navy. Hopefully. We will not have any issues like we did last time fighting them because we did really struggle last time. Just a reminder about that. Should we do all these upgrades real quick? Yeah. But generally, we're at a really good place in this game. Now, we're in a very tenuous position. We went a little quicker than I intended to when being really powerful in world politics and powerful generally. I mean, our, our, our economy is massive. Our military is massive. We're very strong here. We're in a tenuous position because if we fuck up here and misstep, we're, uh, we, we might actually not do very well. Our, like, our relationship with Austria is good, 
but to ever think that they wouldn't backstab us at some point for something is not wise. So we're standing on a very tenuous ground and uh, we just got to play this well. I mean, this is high risk, high reward situation here. Switzerland's in our market. No, they shouldn't be. No, they're not. We've had very, very little talks with the, with the Swiss, actually. Besides in the early part of the game when they tried to have that conference that resulted almost in World War One. Ironically, they were trying to stop them, but that's how that goes. Beautiful. How's our government looking? I haven't worked on our laws at all. We've been very stagnant in many ways. There we go. Petite bourgeoisie and the industrialists. In terms of laws, we have pretty much everything I think that we still would want at this point. Healthcare, we could do private. That makes sense. We'll go for private healthcare. All right, our naval invasion has begun. Map glitched out. Maybe you and Switzerland should talk about claims on Denmark's puppets. Why Switzerland? They have, they have no claims on Denmark at all. All right, so we should be able to land here, given the French. And then we got to rehost, I think, too. God, what a game, man. God damn. Oh, Sweden. Yeah, we, did Swi uh, we should talk to Sweden about Denmark for sure. We start the game, too, just for safety's sake. So let me see if I missed any important RP posts here. That's too crazy. All right, we'll relaunch and then I gotta go to the bathroom really bad. You can probably talk with Siam to build more stuff in your market like TOP and Dice. Very true, Dirty. Good call. Well, let's go do that in just a second. Jesus Christ, I gotta go to the bathroom. I get so focused on these games, I just forget like everything else. <laughs> Hyper focus, fuck yeah. Woo! Woo! Be right back. Britain is plotting something, especially since you kind of cut them out of the scramble for Africa. Fuck yeah, they're planning something. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, the next step is I need to start finding us more allies, too. Because, uh, as I said, like, we're basically Icarus right now. We're flying pretty close to the sun. And if we're not careful, 
and we're gonna fall like a fucking rock. So we gotta, we gotta thread this fucking needle. Yeah, to be fair, they asked for all of Africa, which was fucking dumb. I mean, that was, that was unwise. I was hoping he'd say something like that. I didn't expect him to say it explicitly though. I will be honest, I, I did not expect that and I'm fine with it. All right, I'm back. Welcome. Uh, I'd like to discuss something with you in regards to your relationship with the Ottoman Empire. Where, where is your current standing with them? Is it friendly? Are amicable. You, it, amicable? Okay. Um, we're obviously not asking you to join. However, as previously discussed, Russia was an adversary at, uh, at one point. However, they're coming with a branch of peace. Uh, to the Austrian Empire in order to assist uh, with any possible uh, in order to show a force to the to the Ottoman Empire as they've become rather boisterous especially in the, the southern regions below the Caucasus the Austrian Empire has been keeping a close eye on the Ottoman growth and we are concerned especially with their posturing around Montenegro and the Greece regions we just wanted to get an understanding of what the Prussians... What do the int Austrians intend to take out of this? The Austrians uh, intend to merely uh, quell the conquest of the Ottoman Empire. Do you, you plan to take um, lands in the Balkans or anything? Currently, that is not on our present agenda. Uh, we may ask for the, the release of the Serbian nation once again, as uh, we believe that they were once free and then annexed uh, recently while we were uh, stuck building our army and uh, invading the Qing. We believe that a, a buffer state between our nations would be most benef beneficial to have again. Um, so we're, we're not looking to really take any land, I don't believe. Uh, merely just support Russia, as I believe a potential ally from them would be most helpful, especially... You, the, you are understanding Austrian. that you're putting us in a tough position here, as we had begun to foster good relations with the Ottomans, and Frank, Absolutely. They, we, frankly... Absolutely. Frankly, they would make a better ally than the Russians from what we've seen from history. We yeah. believe the Ottoman Empire to be a paper tiger. They look really strong, but what are they actually taking? Uh, vague states that really don't have a comparable military force. However, Russia is a very large state, and we know that it is but a sleeping cup, worry. to use your words. If you, if you find a strong ally who is already strong, they owe nothing to you and will always look for more. But if you find an ally and those who could be strong but aren't and help them, you'll find a much firmer friend than otherwise. I understand we, we, that the understand Austrians and the takes. Ottomans have an extreme amount of dislike for one another. I mean, they were on the gates of Vienna at one point. Uh, the, the Prussians, we are, of course, devout Christians, um, but we understand that the modern world is turning into something where we have to start taking things more for what they are. And I would caution the Kaiser to keep in mind that to cooperate with the Russians here and make them stronger... I mean, what, what has history shown us with the bear? If they can take something, they'll take it. And there will come but, a time, perhaps, where they will look west. And that's what we worry about here. See, the same concerns could be said for the Ottomans. A nation like them, growing strong again, like you said, it wasn't long. They were storming our capital. Now, it might not be something that affects the northern German regions, but let's say we fall next time. And then the next time they fall, they come marching straight to Berlin. We don't think this is a nation that can continue to grow in the way that they have. I'm not we're looking not, to not demolish them. To a cutting all... down to size. We're not. I, I will not stand. That, that, that way, is all we want. That what? is all we want. However, we would like to say that um, we're not asking for you to join in anything. Uh, we merely just want to. We would have a request of you. Yes, of course. We would like you to champion the cause with the Russians to have a rediscussion on their current control of the Warsaw region. There was, of course, many partitions of Poland in the past between our three nations, and at present we find ourselves lacking territory 
uh, that we were given previously. For us to look the other way, uh, we would ask that the Austrians help champion that cause for us to to take back more of the lands that we once owned in Poland. Would you be willing to consider that? Not yeah, all of Warsaw, absolutely. but a we part do, of it. We do feel that Warsaw deserves, uh, after many times, Poland has been a faithful ally to the Austrian Empire. We believe their subjugation by the uh, excuse Russians me, no, have no, been... No, excuse me. Uh, Sorry, what's uh, up, Anthony? Uh, um, it's been called for an auction concerning the Swiss. Uh, yes. You, you're both invited. Yeah, but uh, the Austrian Empire has politely declined. Yes, but uh, the Prussians are informed. Okay, yeah, we'll be there in just a moment. I have to finish this conversation. Of course. Uh, okay, so we understand, and the, the Austrian Empire will definitely champion this cause. We'll see what will come of it, and I think all we will ask of you is just a a, a silent declaration of uh, neutrality, if if should a, should a war occur. Would that be agreeable uh, yes. to you? If you will champion our cause and help us to get a part, part of Warsaw transferred to us by the Russians, we're completely fine with it. Absolutely. Of course, we'll see what we can do. And thank you for discussing us, this with us. Uh, may we speak with the Russians? Yes, what can okay. I do for you? Uh, so, we have... Uh... Had the Russians join the organization as well now, our uh, peace organization, and uh, they have requested for us to bring a matter of the Ottomans joining the organization as well to a vote. Uh, we, we fully would like support to Ottomans being included. Right. That's uh, all we needed from you. Uh, we thank you, you for won't. your time. Well, I guess we actually will show up. Oh, the Prussian legation is invited, uh, is, is present, sorry. Um, yes. Who Who is the chair for this? So this is, they would be chaired by the Egyptians, would it not? Yes, yes it would, it would. Uh, I believe he has left and, um... He's going to get somebody real quick, he said he'd be yes, right there? Yes, of course, of course. Alright, uh... uh... Let's do this quick then. Uh, you propose your prices uh, in the chat. Well, you have our offer already, I believe. It's the starting price of one million pounds. The Spanish offer one million pounds. The Spanish uh, offer one point five. The Dutch offer one point five and one. Write it in the chat so that it's more simple. We keep track of the uh, offers. For order, I believe that you will have to raise it by half a million pounds per round. Can I, can I still join or no? Yes, of course, everyone is uh, alright. Uh. So you we have 2 million uh, from the British Empire then. Yes, you can still join us, yes. Yeah, everyone is invited, I just tagged uh, the Great Powers. So. Yes. Uh, you, when you mean everyone is invited, any nation, not just the Great Powers. Any nation can better. Oh my gosh. I do not think uh, small nations would afford this. Yeah. yeah that's I why know. I didn't like them. Uh, so we have two million. Uh, anyone? Well, hold on, I'm doing, I'm doing math calculations to try and figure something out. The French. 2.5 England, 3 Oh Let's go jam Go jam, go jam Will the Prussians uh, identify where go jam is? Uh, uh yes yeah, but, uh, I thought I was you were already taking it. Uh, oh, no, no, the I agreement you agreed to with me is Begimber, uh, Gondor, and Eritrea. We would control Gaussian, but we're offering it to you in, as part of this auction. I'm sorry, is this is this an auction? Or, like, has the deal already been made? The, the British have many fi uh, financial experts who know that monetization and value comes in many forms. Yes, I do agree with that, too. I agree with that. 
that's not the dispute I'm having here. Is this an auction that people are entering in good faith? Or is this going to be like the last Congress where people are not entering in good faith? Just because you refuse to, to work with other people doesn't you're mean the you one complain that, about the results. Yeah, you're may out of the may yeah. Great Britain's questions be answered? Our offer stand, is there another there one? Answer. Is, is, there, is anyone else wishing to auction here? Does, does the Prussians wish to attach a value to the region? If, we, if for, we're going to have an for, auction, is, we need to have a... The, uh, that, is, that is for the... Um, the Egyptians to decide. Yes. How much value would the Egyptians the place to identify if we have been invited under false pretenses or not? Order. The uh, starting uh, price is one million, and then it's you to decide. You can uh, offer money and regions. So. I, I, I yes. what, to, what, what, what a British delegate wants to ask is what, what offer would exceed the value offered by the Prussians uh, for further uh, bidding. Yes, what monetary value does the yes. chair have on Gojam? We we we'd set the value at that around ten million. Is that reasonable to the to the to the? Oh, Egyptian? this is ridiculous. Uh, okay, fine. We'll offer Central America. It's worth fifty million. You don't? Do you get to give away Central America? Yes. Maybe the little, Maybe little islands that you let's have. Keep it, let's keep it simple. Then uh, we will throw only money. Uh, if you want to uh, discuss Gojam with me, uh, you can. I think it's, it will be more simple if we only do money, okay? Okay. I mean, if that's off the table, then we'll do money. That's fine. What is the current uh, offer? It's from the Kingdom of Prussia. Did the Prussians often move? 5 from the British Empire. 11 from the Kingdom of Prussia. Ooh. Hastings, I'm trying to join the game, but I can't. Do you have the right checks in? I, Go through I, I GC, haven't. GC2. Ooh. What's it's the getting used to Red Singer. Wait, what's the current bidding right now? 16 million. 16. 16 million, interesting. Yeah. Are we gonna do it going once and twice or three first. times, or what are we Two. doing here? Yeah, I'm not matching that. I'm not matching that either. So to recap, you need to have the money at the end of the session so that uh, to save it, it can be done. Uh, I believe we agreed on in, uh, increments of uh, point of half a mil. So what does that mean? Uh, you have to do 17.5 to exceed my bid. Does that include going into debt, though? I mean, like, if, if it's taken out of us, it yeah. can go into debt, right? Okay. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, credit is credit, right? Does the Prussians wish to uh, negotiate a cap on their bid? Or do they not wish to share that? Why don't you guys just keep bidding? I don't understand why you guys have, like, what's the current bid is British at, what, 17.5? Yeah. You must understand the animosity between the Prussians and their funders during the Seven Years' War. Just, I, I don't understand why you're doing We'll let uh, we'll, we'll the British take it. We're down. Sorry, okay. I, I, I was just trying to bid up the fucking uh, British. We're good. He, uh, he, 19.5. Yeah, yes. 19.5? Yep, we're, yeah. we're done. We're, we're not bidding anymore. That's, that's all the UK. So, the last offer is the 19.5 from the British Empire. Does everyone want to do another offer? Well, I take that as a no, so the British Empire will transfer us the, the sum to us and they will receive the Suez Isthmus and have full rights of the canal that will be constructed. Thank you for attending this auction. Thank you. You have a good day. I didn't intend for us to win that. I just wanted the British to break their economy. <laughs> Fine by me. Okay. Uh, law and order. Pointing to the rampant turmoil from radical activities of Silesia, the Conservative Party has campaigned on the platform of more policing. We'll do conservative uh, stuff. Yeah, the British just paid 19.5 million for the Suez. Which is going to put them, I believe, up to their max debt. Uh, 
Florian Kirschweger has offered to spend some of their personal wealth to fund the creation of a university. Absolutely. Another letter from the Ripper. Keep doing it. What is this for? This was for the Suez. It was the right to build the Suez. He'll still have to pay for surveying it, and he'll have to still pay for for uh, for building it. Hello there. Uh, greetings. Uh, it's nice to be in Berlin again. Uh, of course. My colleague uh, from Portugal ha has arrived. Yes, uh, may I come and speak? Uh, this is from Belgium. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you let me, uh, colleague of Portugal, I shall speak first. Uh, I I have signed the Berlin uh, Treaty uh, uh, for the uh, Division of Africa, and I am very happy. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for me, I have heard from my Portuguese colleague here that the the claim of Barotse uh, shall be given to Portugal. Uh, this is a Belgian claim, is it not? He did say that uh, the Prussians and Austrians uh, allowed him for this. Uh, for which region? It... Sorry? Which region are you referring to? Congo, uh, Zambia, Zambia, Barotse. The, the 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 region of Zam the state of Zambia. I'm looking for it right now. Um, well, oh, this way in itself. Yep. Oh, you mean way down, like in north of uh, Cape Colony? Um, well, it's not a, Portug a Portuguese Botswana, technically. You were you were never allocated that at any point in the treaty. Uh, you, you made claims to only one area you wished, which was put in that map, which is the area of the, like, the northern region of the Congo. That's that's the area you claimed. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so, you, you uh, uh, sorry to in, uh, interrupt you, sir, but did you not see the clay, the, the, the map that we agreed on? Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the same one right now, I should be. Yeah, Barotse. Uh, that uh, that is my claim, and Portugal said that they were to receive this. Is this not mine? Well, the thing is, they they did agree to like leave the British Custom Union and stuff. So the first map is the one we'd be looking at. We all agreed to that. If the Portuguese did honor what we demanded of them, which was to leave the Customs Union, they get to keep the first map. If you look at that one, the first map is half of my claims, all the way up to Lunda, Kazembe, and whatnot. No, that's uh. Where? Uh, Katanga, Lunda, uh, basically half of Congo. You you claimed the conference when you spoke at the conference. You you claimed you said the the Congo region. You talked about not wanting to take much. That's not part of the Congo. Uh, and I I sent wait, what? Not part of the Congo. I actually sent uh, an a a, 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 a claim, uh, and it was even larger actually to uh, the moderator. And uh, and he you, asked the, me. You can send uh, whatever you want to the moderator, but we uh, we discussed and agreed upon what would be done, and then that was it to the man drawing the map. I mean, you had to have talked about it with everyone else. You couldn't just slip something in to the person drawing the map. That's not how the conference worked. I, I the 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 agreed upon map, which was uh, in uh, that was given, is the one I signed. The the most recent one, is it? Uh, yeah, right. It's the one where the Spanish uh, are given to Swana. Uh, and uh, the second map was one no, created no, no. for the, the 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 possibility that the Portuguese wouldn't agree to the demands. That's what it was made for. I'm sorry, I talked with the Spanish. So there is a, like a big misunderstanding. They have no claims in like Herero and uh, such things. So maybe Belgium the the fault or the, you have the wrong map. Which is possible. Because they Sorry? said that they have no, they have Spanish said they have no claims in like Carrero, Nama, and uh, that uh, area. So maybe you have the wrong map. Okay, okay, okay. So you're looking the at the last... Victory General, right? Yes, yes. Look at the first map. Do you see that one? The one with the one I assume Portugal gets uh, Botswana. Way in the south, yes. Yes, but I'm concerned that he was to receive Zambia. That's a part of the Botswana region, unless I'm mistaken. No, it's north of Botswana. You can, ch if you click on the states, you can see Zambia. It's north of Botswana. That is what I'm concerned with. Oh, the Zambian okay. region. Yes, I was told th from on Portugal. On the first map that is clearly defined as being, I think Spanish. What? What? 
what can can somebody send? It? I am colorblind and I can't tell the difference between the oh, fucking okay, colors. Okay, okay, you know. So you know can what? someone I'll... tell me who what color that is? Okay, so the first one, I, 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 I non-biased. What? Wait, ah, great British. You can continue. I just want to mark that I was here, but like continue. All right, fine. No, yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm I, trying to determine. I, I get it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm colored. That looks too, yellow so to me, friends. unless I'm mistaking it. What I'm re looking at. It is yellow. It's the okay. Spanish one is orange. Yes. Yeah. So the, the, who is the, who is yellow? Me, Belgium. Then that's yours. Yeah, clearly the map. Yes, is the Portugal came to me and told me that he was to receive Zambia. No, neither of the maps show that, so Portugal, you're incorrect there. Well, we agreed, uh, it was a separate uh, agreement, that we are able, that we will be able to connect Mozambique and Angola. And this, that is clearly to Zambia. Who's the fucking orange what? thing? I can't read this. What's the orange color? Orange for? is Spain, Spain. Uh, it, can no, that, is Spain. Can somebody send in the map? All right, all right. I'll send the map. I'll send the map. How about the how about orange... we how about we make a uh, like a concession here? Belgium, are you are willing to allow the Portuguese to control Barotse, East Anglia, and Barotse, Botswana, so they have a very narrow corridor to cl uh, connect their land? That's a reasonable the... thing to suggest. But this is an acceptable for Portugal. We were promised that we would get like East Angola. You were promised to have your territories connected. We fully agree with that. That was promised, and this would do that. So, Belgium, are you? Uh, would you agree to that? Well, I I, I would agree to that. Uh, even uh, it's a tiny concession, but if it's uh, necessary. Uh, well, this, this would fully uh, yeah. uphold uphold the agreement, which was that the has his lands connected. So, uh, Portugal, you are being offered what you were promised. I think we can sort it out together with Belgium, so we're gonna go to separate channels. Uh, uh, yeah, we did. Uh, we could. We couldn't sort it out. So, uh, uh, you said. Do you want to say it immediately? We're happy to leave if you don't want to, but we've given a very reasonable middle ground for both of you. No, here. I do not refuse. I refuse to leave. Uh, we need you, Prussia, because. When I spoke with Portugal, uh, Port uh, they said that they made an agreement with you and Austria. And uh, I, I, so there's an impasse. The agreement uh, I, we made with them was explicitly that as long as they upheld the demands that we made at the conference. Uh, God damn it, I got I to gotta multitask here. I'm focusing so much on this. Let me do my economy real quick. We, we made the agreement that you would have what was promised to you uh, at the conference uh, uh, on the first map. That was what we had offered and we'd all agreed to at the conference before you'd said that you weren't going to do it, which is explicitly what you are seeing right now uh, on that first map, which would technically, uh, I mean, as long as we, there is the area that was unmarked there that would make sense for you to be, which is what we're talking about, which is where say East Anglia and Botswana, you'd have connected territory. You'd have a fucking massive chunk of Africa. I really don't see what the issue is here. Because uh, the only issue that there's a huge miscommunication, I think, in both I think so, so as well, and we're trying to resolve that right now, right? Yes, yes, exactly, and we are open. Is Belgium uh, capable of providing something to the Portuguese that might make this uh, more reasonable of any sort. Do you have an idea of how you might be able may to I, balance this out? May I, may yes. I speak first? May I speak All first? All right. Go, go ahead, delegate. How about, how about, and please open the states map on uh, your map, sir. Yes, how about I am... Belgium receive uh, the Pascogo, Lunda, East Angola, the north part of Zambia, Katanga, Zambia. And the rest will go to Portugal, like South Angola, Marotza, Angola, and Zambezi. You're being offered a massive trunk of the Angolan region for the moving of Zambia to the Portuguese. What do you think, Belgium? It's a generous offer. Zambia. Generous oh. offer. We will split so, Zambia in half. So basically, I get East Angola, you get Zambia. Yes, that's also a possibility. Including Barotse, uh, Barotse, East Angola is yours. Sorry, I'm looking at the... Uh, Barotse, East Angola is that little place, uh, just uh, to, just a little piece of territory in between... Uh, south of East Angola, yeah. Yeah, it's right yes. to the south. Yes. south yeah. you, you need that to connect your territories. Yes, exactly. I mean... I if I, I if am I uh, look. I am fine with you getting East Angola. I get Zambia, and then East uh, Barotse in East Angola and Barotse Botswana is yours. I'm fine with that. Do we have an agreement? Yes, I believe. So just for clarification. The matter is settled then. Gentlemen, can you shake on it? 
Uh, As good Christians and Europeans, make, make a clarification first. All right. So, just just to be clear, so yes. Portugal receives South Angola, Barotse, and Zambia. The rest is up for Belgium, right? Like East Angola. Oh, the whole of Zambia? No, the southern part where we can like connect it. All right, fine. I'll take it. We shake on it. Deal. Thank you for mediating yes. for us. Uh, of course, uh, gentlemen. Ambassador. To, uh, okay. to European power in Africa. Can we toast to that? Yes. The European power. Wonderful. I shall be now taking yes. my leave. Uh, thank Very you, well. and I shall take more of your uh, liquor. <laughs> Wonderful. First Foreign Office wishes to inform uh, uh, the Prussians about... Is it, are you still there? Uh, yes, the, I am still here. What, what can I do for you? The British me? Foreign Office wishes to inform uh, uh, Prussia about its intent to start the Third Opium War. Very well. We are just currently in the process of finishing our, our uh, invasion of the Qing. Uh, you, you intend to take treaty ports, I assume? Yes, I have intended to take a treaty port. Very well. That's no issue to us. I came here earlier, so I would, wouldn't be like a shock or something. Okay, yeah. yeah I mean, all of Europe's getting treaty ports at this point, so it's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, out of RP, uh, is this aggressiveness like something about me or something? Absolutely not. I'm just trying to 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 bring you down a peg, like RP wise, man. Yeah, like you're the, you're felt, the big boy. You're like, really as the UK, you're gonna have a target insulting. on your back, you know. Like Prussia's an epic coming power. If we can get you down a peg, we're gonna go up one. So that's all this is. Yeah, I just it's you're a good RPer. Really Samo, I enjoy RPing with you massively. If I'm RPing, it's never fucking personal. Like, let me make okay. that very clear. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm just I'll, I'm just I'll trying to that. fuck with you and out remove you, man. Like in the RP context, that's all it is. I, yeah, my I, my head broke a bit and I got really upset there because I didn't understand what was going on. Ah, uh, no, it's like, just no, that no was the scrap of Africa. I mean, that was like where like you know, like powers would be made and broken, right? I mean, that was well, that no, was, that's you, not what I meant. By like, I kept asking for like the list of like get demands and compromises because I couldn't like keep it uh, going in my head, and no one was telling me what they were. Uh, I will say, uh, we're gonna do a save edit. You're gonna get the pressure Nigerian Delta, of course, and all that kind of stuff. So that's all yours. Yeah. yeah. I was just, I kept asking people, like, oh, you're in violation of the agreement, and no one was telling me the agreement was. Well, we, like, we kept I, also saying for you to tell us, like, what you wanted, and then you never did that, though. I mean, that was the issue there, I think. Well, yeah, but I wanted, I, I did want everything because I had claims over everything. Oh, we, we know you wanted everything, but that was kind of, I mean, all of Europe yeah. was there, you know, so it's, uh, yeah. Alright. I did offer you OEO though. I know. Alright. I'll just get on my way. Sounds good. Can you play the game with one hand? Uh one hand? Probably. All you really need is one hand to play a fucking map game. Let's be real. It's all just clicking, right clicking. I mean like there's escape, I suppose. If you want to go into your menu, you can't, but that's about it. Invade someone, you're a pressure. Patience, child! This isn't that casual fucking game, my man. So, by the way, we did win the war with the Qing. We managed to secure a treaty port in Hong Kong, and in, uh, we got one other one. Where's our other one at? And in Guangzhou as well. We got, we got two of them. Uh, in addition to that, we have freed Burma. And, uh, we're going to want to try and bring them into our sphere, so... We'll probably do a direct invasion, but not quite yet. At this time, we've brought the Somalian region under control, and we'll just have to wait to, to get a save transfer uh, from Egypt. We got electrical power, beautiful. Um, so we're waiting for that. Let's get some electrical power in Berlin. We want to modernize it very quickly. We'll build four there. Japan is there. Are they still players? That's a good question. I don't know. No, they are not. No, there's no, uh, there's no Japanese player. If we went after Japan, we'd, we'd really paint a target on our back, so we're not going to. I'm just going to try and relax for a minute here. We've got most of what we wanted, but we just need to work on the economy. We're going to need a fuck ton of coal. Let's go speak with Siam.
Greetings, this is the Ambassador to Siam here to speak uh, with your king. I hope you are in good health. Greetings. Ah, I shall lead you to him. He is indeed in very good health, though he has become somewhat adult of mind. He has tried some of our new product that we have been shipping to your nation. Opium. Ah, yes. Uh, it is very popular here, and uh, we, we thank you for its production. Yes, we can hardly keep up with demand. Well, you know, there's a lot of us Europeans. It's, uh, it's, it's, there, there are significant amounts of us, uh, as I think you all know by this point. Ah, yes. Many have come to visit our shores. Now these French, these Ottomans, the British. The French were here. Ah, oh, no, not uh, here in the channel, but I mean uh, on uh, the peninsula. I understand, of course, of course. I must but say your you palace is uh, quite impressive, though. I, uh, your city is full of many ruins. I, mean, I, I will uh, definitely take some time to see them before I leave. But yes, you should surely visit our greatest achievement, that of our ancestors. Uh, I forget the name right now. Angkor Wat, I believe. Thank you. I have a bit of difficulty with language. Sometimes of in course. my head it goes better, but it doesn't go good out of my mouth. Of course. Okay. But uh, yes, you wish to speak to m the king. Well, here he is. Ah, hello. <laughs> ah, your majesty, hello. Uh, I bring a gift from the queen consort and the king of uh, Prussia. And then the ambassador is gonna hold out his hand and uh, several several boxes will be placed down before you containing uh, a very, like the, one of the best handcrafted artisan rifles like you've been sent before and other to add to your collection, as well as a Prussian military saber that is given to our to our generals. I, I love these. I have been importing so many of these for my army. Uh, None like this, I can me. assure you. The quality, we we had the king's craftsman himself construct this firearm for you. It is, uh, as if you take a look there, you'll see the carvings in ivory of uh, the first meeting of the Siamese delegation and the German delegation to honor our, to honor our cooperation together. It is beautiful. Truly, I wish to use it on the battlefield soon. Uh, I, I suspect we will have more than enough chances for that in the future. Yes, will you too, uh, will your queen or king lead your people? Or is that no longer your custom? They tend to lead more from the from the back of things. The king, Friedrich Wilhelm, he fought against Napoleon, as did the queen in the past. But these days, we leave our conflicts more to our generals. The general staff are very competent, and frankly, we don't want to get in their way. You understand? Ah, uh, yes. Around here, the legitimacy of a king is still bound to his power of the blade. It's respectable. One must show their strength. You are a very strong martial culture, something we've always respected in you since we first met you, and uh, we're, we're glad to see our friends are capable. Yes, on that front, I believe that within five years, my army will have reached the size of a hundred battalions. Truly impressive. Have you, uh, have you been uh, using our officers in your modernization attempts? Oh, yes, we have now commissioned officers and a professional army, all thanks to your officer corps. They were good very, yes, efficient. Though we have had some problems with blue police brutality afterwards, but... Sometimes uh, a firm hand is needed. Indeed, indeed. And we have seen many benefits of uh, implementing that firm hand. Good to hear. We wouldn't want uh, our friends to be weak now, of course, so that's good. Uh, on, on to more business matters, though. We wish to Indeed, first you up... do not only come here for pleasure. No, no. Although there is much here, uh, the German people are a very efficient one. We, we are here to speak with you. Sorry, well, what's up, Ottomans? Uh, sorry to interrupt. I uh, had received a recent notification about uh, the Siamese uh, trying to uh, claim the sultanates that uh, we have uh, overlordship in, in Malaya. They had claimed it long ago. Uh, you've taken that region. I had intended to send an ambassador to speak with you about it. We're not about to start a war of anything with it, but we were going to speak to you about it at some point. Well, there was no uh, statement made about it, so we uh, were not aware of any such claims. Uh, out of our piece, Since I have, did you not make a, write a statement about it? Oh, uh, in the first game, I already claimed the entire peninsula as yeah, mine. Okay, I thought so. I, Just yeah, I wasn't too clear, maybe, but yeah, I didn't know how clear to be. This is my first time, so... 
I didn't even know he had a Siamese player in the game. My apologies. Aw, oh, yeah. Yeah, I only heard about a Siamese player when I heard that the Siamese were upset. And I was like, wait, what? what? Yeah, I was already gearing up for war. Yeah, um, well, we can have a discussion about that. I'll leave you two to have your discussion first, and then uh, just Very let me well. know when you... Yes. But uh, to, to start off with, we wish to uh, request if you would be able to start producing more dyes. Are you capable? The textile industries of Germany are, are some of the biggest in Europe, but we are severely lacking in that area. We have good news for you. We already have many plans on building. Good. We already saw the need in your market, and we're already planning on filling it. And, of course, our coffers in this deal. That is very good to hear. Uh, your, your traders will find themselves very well compensated in Prussian markets. I can assure you of that. I mean, the price of them are... It's out of hand here at, at back back home. Yes, it is helping me import many munitions for my new skirmish infantry. Wonderful. We're very we're very glad to hear that. Um, in addition to that, we there was another thing that I needed that you could produce. Uh, silk, yes. Silk, if you are able to produce more... As well as fabric, we are very much in need of it. And back home again, also in Prussia. Our markets have grown very large, and much of it is needed. Indeed, we are indeed planning on producing more silk very soon. Fabrics. I am not producing yet, but we shall see what we can do. That's good to hear. Well, and that was the main thing we wish to deal with economically, and as long as you're working on that, we're completely fine. The other thing is we wish to uh, speak with you about... The, the situation of Southeast Asia. With the Ottomans as a fringe controlling territory, it's gotten more complicated. But we're not opposed to, obviously, uh, helping you to to get it back. Obviously, it'll probably have to come in the form of us buying it for you or something along those lines. But uh, we wish to have a talk about how you want to approach this. I mean, because as you said in the past, our, our goals are your goals, but we have to be careful not to start a war we can't win in Europe. Indeed, indeed. I do. I am not very familiar with uh, the concert of Europe, as it is called, but I believe that if we show enough strength here in this nation, and if you yourself can increase your presence around here, we may force the issue without using force. I agree. If I think a large part of that will, will require the continued building up of the Prussian Navy, which I completely forgot about. Let me go ahead and keep doing that. Um, when we have a large enough navy such that it would be ill-advised for any of the countries there to, to contend us, that I think would be a good point to have those talks. Yes, indeed. Where we would, uh, they would really struggle, I think, to not have a good reason to work with us. Indeed, if you can beat them at sea with your modern ships, perhaps I can beat them on the land. Well, don't forget the Prussian military. It is more than capable, I can assure you. I have heard, heard great many tales, something about a Frederick the First. Ah, ah, old Fritz. Yeah, our, our country upholds him as the standard for military prowess. He was a very unique man, the like of which I'm afraid we will probably not see again in Prussia. But ah, you know some of our history. That is commendable. Have you uh, indeed? Have you commissioned German uh, history books here? Or? Um, when I have sent ambassadors over to many countries in Europe, I have asked for many books of literature. Uh, mm. For example, I have learned about something that interested me greatly, the Potsdam Giants, they were called. Uh, in many uh -huh. nations around this area, such similar regiments has been used, so such similarities inspire hope of cooperation with me. Of course. That is, uh, that is an old German tale. It was uh, old Fritz's father. He had a, uh, he was a unique man, and uh, he definitely, he had a very special regiment, we'll say. They, they, if we're going to be honest, we're not the, anything special on the battlefield, but they were fearsome indeed. Indeed, I have heard they suffered greatly from something called gigantism. It is uh, an unfortunate disease. It, it makes for impressive fellows, great warriors, but one's health is, it does take a toll on the body and the mind. Indeed, they often do not live long to see the gray hairs of wisdom grow. They do not. Ah. <laughs> but well, in that case, uh, I I'm glad we see eye to eye on things. As I said, we'll, we'll continue to build up our navy, and when this time is right, we will have a meeting with the Ottomans alongside you, and with the Prussians alongside with you, or the French with you, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to purchase those lands. Since you are a yes. good friend of Prussia, we'd be happy to, to bear a large degree of the cost. Um, 
But we're not going to agree to anything outrageous, of course. Yeah, okay. But uh, something out of RP, I'm pretty mm -hmm. new to this. How do I yeah. annex subjects? Um, oh, see, it's, super, it's fucking stupid. Uh, you have to damage your relations with them, and then you can start a play to annex them. Alternatively, if you want to write an RP post about it and, like, make it detailed, you could probably just put in a save edit to ask Hastening to annex it for you, so you don't have to do that stupid bullshit. Ah, uh, okay. Your call. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm just trying it out so I know how it works in games for other games. Yeah, I got you. Alright. Well, thank, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. you can uh, start uh, bankrolling. Uh, have a good day. I'm already bankrolling you, I think. Yeah, you can stop it. You can stop it, thank you. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Thanks. All right, we gotta go speak with the Russians now. We just got a letter. Uh, where is he at? Uh, we believe Russia to be a stronger and uh, better European nation than the Ottomans. Well, certainly, we are, uh, of course, more... Mm, Would you like us to I wait? Mean... We, we received your letter. Uh, yeah, Russia. Uh... Well, yeah, uh, we 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 can uh, we can speak. We'll be around. Just Britain. when you're when you're done with Britain, just uh, hop in my channel. I'll be I'll be ready. Hopefully. Perfect. Okay. All right, cool. We got a minute. The Russians want to speak to us. It's probably about the fact that we were asking the Austrians to push for us to being able to take part of uh, the the Warsaw region, but we'll see. Culture map mode. Yes, I could. If I can find it. Culture overview. There you go. So I think the music ran out again. Yes, it did. Okay. Economically, we're in really good shape. We have insanely large gold reserves. Our production is massive. Let's get that even higher, though. Um, our investment pool is still going up. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a big deal. That's a very big deal. Um, now it's going down though, god damn it. Brandenburg and Silesia. We'll get there, we just need a... Han Chinese? Yes. A lot of it. Uh, greetings. Um, Hello there, Ambassador. This is, yes, uh, an ambassador from uh, from Mother Russia. Um, we wish to, to just, I mean, obviously, geopolitics are always changing. Um, just a few years ago, we had the, the Council of Europe to discuss a partition of Africa. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but we were been in talks with the with the Austrians uh, regarding the Ottomans, as you may be aware, and uh, we received a interesting offer uh, from from your side, if I understand correctly, from the Prussian side. Right. So, uh, in the in which uh, Russia is worried, if I understood correctly, about about Russia, about uh, Russian expansion. We're and... a little worried with your power, and we had frankly. Uh, been propositioned by the Ottomans to move much closer and for us to look the other way here uh, For Russia to, to take action. We we would we would frankly need some incentive Frank uh, to be honest with you Because you're asking yeah, us no. uh, to really allow a potential ally to be weakened Well, but Russia can also be a potential ally of, of, of Russia and to be honest we were in, in a certain collaboration after after Napoleon and we were we had uh, certainly we had decided to, to to work together to maintain the the forces of monarchies and to maintain the, the forces of revolution away from power so since we've been working together for so long uh, I don't understand why Prussia 
would be worried at all about uh, the growth of the Russian Empire when we haven't been expanding. I have to be very clear, uh, delegate. Uh, Russia, the only enemy that Russia sees are, are the revolutionaries in the streets of Paris, the revolutionaries in the streets of Berlin, the revolutionaries in the streets of Moscow. I would caution you there, the there are no revolutionaries in, in Berlin. We, we have very firm control over our country. Agreed, exactly. So that's... So then there are no enemies of Russia in, There are no enemies of Russia in Paris. There are no enemies of Russia in Moscow then. Because that's, those are the only enemies that we can... Well, that's good. In that case, I think we could probably make a deal here. Oh, and uh, seek further yeah. cooperation. We first so we fought together in the coalition wars. Uh, uh, me, both me and my husband fought alongside you, and you gave us refuge when we freed from Berlin. It was, I believe, a Russian doctor who saved me when I was deathly ill. Uh, but we're also very aware of our situation. The greatest threat to the Kingdom of Prussia in the past has really been Russia. You almost uh, tipped the scales against us many times, and though we've had very friendly periods of history, and we are friendly now, we're certainly not allies. And as such, we, we just are very realistic about the situation. We're not saying that you are some great threat that plans to destroy us or us you, but we also are, again, just honest about what this is. No, we, we understand we, geopolitics are a very a delicate uh, matter. We understand uh, all nations have to be in constant. Um, we worried about what may happen to the reporters, right? However, mm. we believe that uh, we have had a very good uh, cooperation in the last few decades and you allying uh, the Ottomans when the Ottomans are a very big adversary of, not both of Russia and of Austria is just very concerning to us. Uh, it's, it's, it would be like if we were to ally um, enemy of, of, of Prussia, frankly. If it's like if we were to ally someone you were at war with, or you would be at war, at war with uh, soon. Mm -hmm. Because the Ottomans, the so Ottoman Sultan, has been doing speeches about conquering territory that is currently controlled by Russia. How would you feel if we would, if we were to say that we were allies of another nation that was doing speeches about conquering Prussian territory? I understand, and uh, that is why I agree that uh, this perhaps could be. Uh, for the best. All we're asking for is to not, uh, for again, for concessions to, to be able to give up a potential friend and ally. And even a trading partner. I mean, I suspect Prussian uh, traders will really struggle to find any one who will trade with us in the Ottoman Empire after this situation if we allow it. So, is, the pro is it a monetary problem then? Is it the reason I believe you... the Austrians probably told you already what we were thinking. Yes, uh, you were thinking of uh, of uh, getting some territories in Poland, which, frankly, is uh, would not be would not be acceptable to us. Uh, That's we, very we paid we paid dearly. Uh, I, I I sorry, I don't want to bring this up. Uh, you must understand, but you you do know Russian and Russian army pushed Napoleon back from Moscow to Paris, right? I don't you want to push it. You must understand that the Russian army pushed them out of Russia, but it was the Prussians and the British who defeated Napoleon. I mean, uh, we all we were all involved, but the suspect suggests that the Prussians, the men we lost, and the the plans we made were not this uh, a very a large part of the decisive strikes that defeated Napoleon is uh I don't know how to take that. We both well, bled against the monster. And you and Prussia won territory out of that. And Russia won territory out of that in Poland. We are not asking you. No, we lost to territory in Poland, I believe. Territory. You lost territory in Poland, and you gained territory across uh, more territory across the Rhineland. Um, yeah, correct, which is Germanic so, land and Germanic issues, which doesn't pertain to Russia. I mean, we were and, we were not uh, we were not opposed to this happening at the time. We agreed to that treaty fully, and we're not saying we don't accept that treaty. We're just saying it's completely reasonable for us to ask for. And I want to clarify, I don't know if the Austrians made it clear, we're not asking for the Kingdom of Warsaw. We're asking for Greater Poland, which is a small region of Warsaw, one which used to be, in part, uh, Prussian. Yes, but you are asking for that in exchange of neutrality, that's... Uh, that's neutrality we're asking for it in exchange for neutrality, 
and for a warming and building up of relations with the Russians. Yes, but we don't need a warming up of the relations with the Prussians. We just need them not to not to support our enemies. I have Correct. mentioned a, a couple of times that want to take territory for now. That have been enemies of Russia from for centuries. Are you, would you like to propose an alternative? Well, the, yes, the alternative, the, alter, the alternative is that uh, you stop supporting, <laughs> that you stop being an ally of the Ottomans, and we would be willing to do whatever is necessary for you to not see Russia as a threat and to see us as and an again, ally. And again, we've we made a suggestion, Russia. and you, you're saying no, that's fine, but what's your alternative? Is, is As long as it's uh, swapping territory out of... Uh, would, you, would you want a defensive pact between our nations? Ah, uh, we, we, no, uh, frankly, no, we are not in a place where we'd be uh, comfortable with that yet. I mean, if we move towards the closer relationships, it could be talked about in the future. But we're, we're, a, we're asking for you to, to give a concession for this. And if I, you I want, don't like our proposal... A one-sided, a one-sided defensive pact. So we, only... if I'm going to be frank, treaties are good to make, but they're not always enforced. And a piece of paper isn't going to mean a lot to us. It's a uh, well. It's a. Uh, it's unfortunate that you believe that the uh, Muslim power is uh, more important to 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 Prussia than than a fellow Christian monarch that fought together uh, against the forces of revolution in Europe and against. We Napoleon. did fight together, but let's not pretend that we pray at the same church. Yes. I, well, I I didn't want to bring this up. You guys probably should, should, should improve your uh, theology you probably should look into the uh, Orthodox Church uh, I have to say a few a few of our people you're now disrespecting priests, my religion no I'm not, I'm not saying that of course I'm not saying that you said to uh, look into better theology it would, it, would, it, would, it would be it would be good to see if you want to see what we pray uh, what we preach in the Orthodox Church uh, Prussia is welcome to send delegates uh, we would also uh, potentially, uh, maybe want to go visit. Um, my point was that you are appealing to my Christian church. status, but I want to make it very clear: we we do not. We have we are cousins of religion, one might say, but you're not. You're, so you, you and, do not pray to, are, uh, to the church. We do, and you are an ally to an enemy of your religion. So instead of allying with your cousin, you are allying with the enemy of your religion. People that literally you are not a Muslim, but neither Christians. are you a, a Protestant Christian like uh, the German people are. My point here is that that you're, you're trying to make all these appeals to common ground and things like that, but the only real common ground we have with you in the past is we fought Napoleon together, and that is reasonable, but that doesn't mean that we should just put away potential friends, allies, and trading partners uh, to, to go to your wishes without any... I mean, you have come here offering nothing to us for this at all. We made an we offer. You didn't want to accept it. We accept that. But you have offered nothing else in return. We offer a concession. We said we would be willing to give you a one-sided uh, treaty. Uh, and you we're saying, want, you... much like you said, you're not uh, you would wouldn't accept Greater Poland. We're saying that's not something that we'd be interested in accepting here either. So, do you have something else? I have nothing else. Uh, I, it, it was good to understand the position of Russia. Um, we are quite concerned about your expansion and aggressiveness. Um, and that's all we have to say. Uh, it, it's very sad that Prussia has decided to take this. And it's very sad that you have so little respect for Prussia. Uh, you, you came in here offering nothing. Uh, thank you for your time, Ambassador. Uh, thank you for your time. Hello? <laughs> ah, I, I <laughs> see the, I the, see the Russian uh, the Ambassador has gone to the, the same place as we have. <laughs> Hello. Are you, uh, are you? What's happening? Um, yes, as, yes, I, I would, uh, we, we, we would leave, uh, it, it's, it's all right. We will come, we will come back later. Uh, we will go visit some of the nice stores in Vienna. Uh, we'll be back. Very well. Very well. Hello, how can I help you? This is, uh, the Queen concert. I, I personally traveled here, uh, to, to speak with you, Kaiser. We, we spoke with the Russians and, um, they were they were uninterested in, in, in any deal in regards to Warsaw, even a small part of it. All we asked for was Greater Poland. 
Uh, when we asked for them to give an alternative, all they offered was a defensive pack, which, frankly, we're not ready to enter in with the Russians yet. We, we don't view them as the context, after which they started to make, uh, to make claims that we're aggressive and dangerous, and also, uh, I don't know, it got complicated, but there were some religious tensions there, too. So, we wanted to bring this to your attention before the Russian ambassador comes here and starts saying all sorts of things about us being unreasonable and things like that. Indeed, of course. Now, I... I understand European powers tend to play things overboard. So, I, uh, I will hear them out, of course, as, uh, as course. my uh, diplomatic duties uh, preside. But, uh, I, I don't we also wish I would talk to you about the situation, because I, I want to reiterate the fact that the Ottomans have been coming to us and attempting to seek trading, uh, reconciliation, and cooperation. And we're not opposed to that, because especially after this meeting, we're now even more worried than ever about Russia. I mean, he, he made all, all sorts of suggestions that he might start to work with our enemies and things like that, which is exactly what we feared. Uh, so we just would like to have a frank talk with the Austrians about where to go from here. Because we, more so than both of them, I mean, value the Austrian Empire's uh, cooperation with Prussia, which has been instrumental for both of us, I think, coming so far in the in the last two decades. No, absolutely, you are right in regards to that. Um, and this is a big topic, uh, a big topic of conversation, in that, yes, uh, we do believe that Russia throwing its weight around is not something that is good for Europe. Um, they can be an absolute menace when poked too hard, and Austria having a very clear border them will will be one of the first targets, I imagine. Um, of course. However, I will state that the Ottomans are not someone we are happy with. Um, their constant state of conquests and antagonism towards our state is giving us great concern. Um, have you considered the alternative, which is to have a frank conversation with the Ottomans, make it clear we don't want further expansion, and start to to cooperate more heavily with... I mean, the Ottomans are honest about what they want. They want to rebuild a semblance of power, something they haven't had for quite some time. Let's be honest, they will never rival either of us. The Russians could eclipse us, and that is the issue here. This is true, however... The Russians are trying to seek allies currently, and I think alienating them could lead them to different parties. You know, a Russia by themselves may be a large threat, uh, but not something that we both couldn't handle, um, especially with the might of our uh, military demonstrated in the Empire of Qing. However, a Russia allied with Britain and France, now that is something that could be quite threatening. That's, there's multiple fronts. Italy Bring looks like up. they're in the process of unifying. It is it is a complicated situation. However, Austria isn't looking to isn't looking to grow into any any like escalate into any wars too soon. I think. Um, Nor are we. So, what is it the Ottomans are trying to achieve? Is there's a war about to break out between the two of them? There's just have a lot of conflicts over Central Asia. The Russians are seeking to gain access to the opium markets there and things like that. Of course, yeah. Understandable. Opium looks like it's going to become the trade good of the world soon. How about this? We'd be willing to cool off relations with Russia. Uh, we'd be willing to stay completely out of the Ottoman situation on a difference to our friends in Austria. But we would have a request from you. Yes. That we, after a loss of cooperation in the past, make clear what we are and form an alliance, a Germanic alliance. A formal alliance? That is interesting. Correct. We will never trust the Russians, but we do seek friendship in Austria. And if this can be formalized, then we have nothing to fear from the Russians, at least for now. That works for us. We have uh, seen our friendship grow, and we've seen you grow into a mighty nation, and think this is something that 
a unified German presence, not fully unified, of course, just militarily would be allow us to dictate a lot of the politics that happens in Europe. And, you know, in due time, if Russia gets big enough with our economies, we could quite quickly sway them into a decision that favors we us. We fully agree. So we'd be willing to accept this alliance. The other thing that we would ask for is, in order to cool relations with Russia, we're going to offer them a trade agreement and trade cool things down. And uh, if they don't agree, due to I think the delegate was quite upset that uh, the Austrians pressured them for that. No, I I can I can understand their their views. Russian, it just seems like the Russian politics is they finally got a hold of themselves and immediately we become to begin demanding things of them. So I understand their perspective. Um, mm. However, yes, I think a trade agreement would uh, definitely calm tension. Very well. In that case, uh, we're fully agreed. Excellent. Pleasure talking well. to you as always, Kaisman. You as well. Don't trust the Austrians. I really want to. I want to see what happens. If he does like a top 10 anime betrayal, it'll just make the game fucking interesting. So we're going to we're going to do it. I'm really curious to see where this will go. Hello. Is this the Kaiser? Hello there. Uh, who Hello am I speaking there. with? I, I'm a diplomat from the uh, great Swedish uh, Empire. Uh, how, how do you do ah, Ambassador, welcome to Berlin. I am quite well. I am growing old, but uh. In good health as ever. What can I do for you? Uh, my king has asked me to come over here. He he wants me to to he wants me to take you to Stockholm. We've got some great 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 things to speak about. Ah, I could oh, I, can, I can certainly make the trip. Uh, we, yes, I have. Uh, got we'll, the, we'll, I've we'll got come into your squadron uh, to 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 take a to take the trip across to Stockholm. Yes. Very well. Yes, I've got I've got some bread as well here. If you want some bread. Ah. Where the fuck is his VC? There he is. All right, on my way up. Ah, my good sir. Oh. I am assuming this is the Kaiser himself, or perhaps the Kaiserin. This is the Queen Consort. Uh, my husband, as ever, is uh, predisposed, probably hunting something like that. Who knows? Well, what? Uh, well, uh, it's good to be here in Stockholm. Yes, we have called you here today to speak on the grounds of the Danish and their mistreatment of both Swedish and the North German peoples in their nation for the last years. Certainly. We would like to request, or rather ask, if the Prussians would like to participate alongside the Swedish in a, if I may be completely honest here, complete decimation of the Danish kingdom. We share no love for the, for the Danes. Um, we have a long history with them. And their control over the Strait of Copenhagen is uh, is a dangerous one. I assume then you you plan to, to march on Copenhagen and uh, bring it into your union. Indeed. In fact, if we could, we plan to bring the Icelandic Isles and Jutland into it as well. We believe the Scandinavian peoples should be one. The Nordic peoples are not very different from each other. You would find the Norwegians, the Swedes, the Finnish, and the Danish. We all share a similar language and a similar culture. We would agree and be willing to take part of it. But obviously Schleswig-Holstein is primarily German, would need to be under our control. Oh, we have no, uh, no intentions on conquering Schleswig-Holstein. We also would ask that uh, there never there be no, uh, never again a sound toll or anything like that created and that uh, Prussian ships could always pass through that region unmolested. Yes, of course. Our two nations have shared a trade agreement for the last, if I may, several decades. Quite some time, but it, it, it needs to be stated formally. Politics change. Indeed so, indeed so. Especially, I have seen in Europe, I've listened mm. to the British's words in their complete betrayal of the European continent. Disgusting situation, and most certainly it is a danger. Um, but yes, this is quite agreeable to us. Um, we would like to have a good show of force against the enemies of the German people, and this provides an opportunity with our good friends in Sweden. I am not at all, uh, against this. Outstanding. 
There is one How thing I would request as part of this deal, though. Yes. Uh, do you currently have a son and an heir? Me, my son, uh, out of RP, how do I check that? Uh, click on your politics, and then there will be like a little thing underneath your king on the left that'll say heir. Indeed, we do. Uh, how old is he, if I might ask? My child, Francois, he is 16 years of age. Beautiful. I have had many children in my life, thankfully, and uh, I, I have many daughters who need marriage. And as part of this, to bring us closer together, we'd be fully agreed. My only ever caveat would be that your heir and son uh, be married to my second daughter. She's a good woman, smart, agile mind. I don't think she, uh, she speaks Swedish, though, unfortunately, but I'm sure she could learn. Indeed, our languages are not too far apart. It should be rather easy. Of course. This can be agreed upon. Very well, then I think we have a deal. Very well. I will begin the mobilization of my army shortly. Beautiful. Anything else before I uh, take a trip back to Berlin? No, not that I believe. Thank you for your time. Uh, check your name one more time. King uh, King Bernadotta. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, we will speak soon. Good travels. Thank you. Trust the Tarek. Oh, no. You, uh, you want to see a game where Journey doesn't unify? I'm not going to force it to happen. I'd prefer it happens, but uh, we're not going to force it. All right, so we are going to uh, take Schleswig Holstein along with the Swedes. So they're going to take Denmark, which is fine. There's no Germans there, mostly. Rise of radicalism. Fuck no. Conservative establishment. We need secret police. Apparently, there's a lot of liberals trying to gain power. We're not having that. We're not having that. Uh-oh, we got a revolution incoming. Bring the conservatives in the government. We'll deploy more law enforcement. Oh, there's Kirsten. There's no Germans here. France begins to sweat profusely. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's uh that's gonna be a bit of a problem right there. That'll that'll be a bit of a problem. USA is doing solid. They did win a war with the Mexicans at some point to California. President John Fremont. Fremont, he's from California. Damn. That's cool. Alright, we may be about to have a civil war, by the way. The the trade unionists and intelligence here are gonna try and rise up against us. We're not liberal enough for them. Cheap everything from the Ching. We have the... Oh, yeah, we have the convoys for it. Bring in all this cheap uh, Chinese goods. Pan nationalism. Oh, let's finish pump jacks really quick. Not that we can use them, but we get better irrigation. Then we'll go and continue with pan nationalism. Okay, Silesia, Edinburgh, and Holtz. Finish those, then we'll be fine. We also, we have more electricity. Let's go ahead and utilize that. Let's light up another city. Westphalia, we will power electric streetlights. We're lighting all of our cities, beautiful. General Albrecht von Vroon's personal habits are starting to get in the way of his role as general. He is... what is he doing? He's an alcoholic. 
we're that this is 1858 if you're not an alcoholic general you're fucking weird so no we'll we'll deal with it every general in europe was a fucking alcoholic that's that that makes no sense it's our economy like as well a little worried about that not bad the russians passed us which i was worried about to be fair we haven't fully unified pump checks nice let's go back to pan nationalism Actually, we can get mutual funds. Let's just grab that really quick. That's really useful, too. All right, we can do... Automatic irrigation. We can also do electric sawmills at some point, but not the, the biggest thing. We need to grow a lot more coffee plantations, too. Vicky 3 is very underwhelming. I know many people don't like it. I fucking love it. I love the econ economic system. I love the politics system. And I love the time period. I understand why it can seem that way. But I always like this time period so much that, I don't know, for me, it's just, like, amazing that it exists. But I do get that. I did expect more when it dropped. I'll fully agree with that. So something happened in the UK. Yeah. Um, yeah, it did. They, we had a scramble for Africa, like a conference for Africa. And uh, they basically refused to participate and got almost no concessions. They're only to get Nigeria, basically, at the end of things. That, uh, yeah, he does get to claim that, technically. We get all this in Ethiopia. We're going to get this in a save transfer. Because we can't attack anything else at this point. Can we colonize here? Indonesia. Ooh, yes, please. Senegal and Gambia. Uh, the guys of the war is happening. We are getting the troops ready. We are marching. Ah, yes, of course. You need to invite us to the play. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, I think you have to do it yourself. You have to do it play yourself. No, you, you have to invite me to the play. Did you already start the war? You did. Yeah, you missed it. I'll have to declare yeah, separate yeah. war. Which yeah, I sorry. don't think I can. Oh, uh, god damn it. Yeah, oh, sorry. We fucking, we're going too far. Oh, oh good. I, the system yeah. for it is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, yeah. By the way, do you want, like, do you want hosting to be free so you can, like, decorate yourself? No, no, or... I'm just going to go in right now. Just don't peace out of the war until, uh, until we get in there. Yeah, yeah. Because we'll deal with both at the same time. This is a pre-agreed deal. We're supposed to be in this war. We're just not because they fucked up the, the 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 part of it to do it. We'd already promised to be in this war, so, and we can't just say no to it. We we'd already planned this. How much? How many people are they gonna? They're gonna get all of that. Oh my god, this will be rough actually. Our mutual funds. Back to pan nationalism. Unless there's anything else. Yeah, we'll grab modern nursing. We're gonna need it with these wars. The recent expansion of power plants in Brandenburg has inspired faith in a future where all of Kingdom of Prussia is electrified. We'll go for the steam turbine. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the war hasn't been formally stated it will happen, but most likely will. We'll take the Duchy of Schleswig, too. Do a diplo play for this too. You bribe them with lower taxes or high funds if it gets to be too much. Or hear me out. We get to brutally put down the liberals in our country. 
I'm I'm not opposed to that. We're a very conservative government. I mean, we're industrial, but like we're a very conservative government. No, we're not an absolute monarchy. We actually have a very powerful parliament in the RP. Uh, we got a voting system, so no. The king actually doesn't have much power, really. The queen consort has a lot in the current RP because she has like a, an old figure. I'm planning on that to end at this session, though. This is the last session where Queen Louise is in charge. Someone else will be very powerful from here on out. Greetings, Russia. It's France. How are you doing? Hello there. I'm doing quite all right. What is, what is up? We see your uh, recent incursion to uh, Schleswig-Holstein and just uh, wanted to make sure it wasn't going to cause any war between you and Austria. No, we have we have uh, cooperated heavily with Austria. This is a this is actually a war out of RP that I was supposed to be called to by the Swedes, but I wasn't because they don't know how to use plays. Um, but yeah, okay, we, we will be taking the Schleswig Holstein region, which is obviously Germanic, uh, to to ensure that they're not under the Danes anymore. Okay, that's what's happening in Italy too. The guy who did the play for Italy did Piedmont instead of Savoy for himself. Yeah, the plays so. can be confusing. People fuck them up a lot. It's to, yeah, it's for sure. Is. Cool, sounds good. All right, I was just making sure uh, we weren't seeing any uh, issues nope. or whatever. Sounds good. Go pan nationalism, then we're going to go for steel frame buildings. So I was wondering about we don't have enough engines. We probably never ten. The uh the, the wall goals our wall goals like fuck with each other like our our wall goals are like to, to free Schwestig and like yours is to like do the whole thing Just things. let me rush them, just hold your line real quick and just let me rush them down and we'll we I can get mine and then you'll get yours. Alright, uh the dirty the queen was a reformist she's not a fucking liberal like she's not crazy she instituted a number of reforms but she was like a reformer for like 1820. that's a very different thing than supporting these current reform movements we have she's still a very conservative like it was a thing during like dramatic history it was called like I, I think it was actually called the revolution from above where there was a reform movement but the reform movement wasn't liberal it was still conservative it was just the king didn't have absolute power the nobility and the landowners have more power and the military is like actually reformed she did reforms and is a reformer but she's not an extreme reformer she, she's just more conservative about it you know she's still very conservative historically she was too it's just for when she was alive which was the napoleonic wars and then she died but in this time when she didn't she was a really radical reformer in Prussia because Prussia was just still running off a 17th century model. But we're not we're not liberal. We're not that kind of radical. We're we're, we're an old school reformer. More pragmatically inclined members of the intelligentsia currently opposed to the passing of the secret police have offered to change their stance such that they offered certain political concessions. Such as concessions that would not be popular with the bourgeoisie. We need to get it passed, so we'll go for it. Disease among the wounded. An issue. Fueled hospitals. Why are we trusting the Turks? We're not. Someone pin that. We're, we're literally not. We literally allowed the, the, the Turks to get screwed for concessions. If, if anything, it's the exact opposite. Oh, what is going on? Ah, they're going after the Qing. The gangbang continues. A group of experienced nurses have reformed the practices of the Prussia, uh, resulted in markedly less deaths. Good. A lot of nursing. Beijing treating poor reparations in Formosa. Where's Formosa at? I do plan to go after South Korea, but I'm just waiting a little while longer. Let's also do a naval invasion. Can I 
Yeah, naval invade Upland. Hmm. Gonna follow uh, Fetty98. Hmm. Put it over front. They abandoned the Dutch. Greetings, cells. Ah, Ambassador. Welcome. Uh, we just wanted to warn you that the contract of the bank calling is expired, so you can uh, cancel it right now. The who? The bank call uh, uh, contractor. Uh, it expired. It was uh, November uh, 80. For five years? Is, yeah, it was one year ago, so. Oh, I, I don't actually have a, a little bit more of a of a of a of a talk here before we go ahead and do that um we just like to speak about the future of of egypt and germany and trying to ascertain uh where you want this to go well um, before you were making those claims in the honor of africa uh you were our most uh, important trading partner so obviously you it helped us build our economy and we obviously are thankful for that and uh, there is also rumors that you uh, purposely uh, uh, make uh, Britain uh, make uh, more bets uh, during the Suez Canal auction. So obviously, we also thank you for that. Uh, mm -hmm. um, obviously, there is only one concern we have uh, is that the religious rights uh, of the Sunni people uh, in your colonies. Uh, we, we have made very clear uh, s since we began to colonize outside of Europe that we're not going to run things like, for example, the um, like the like the British do or the French. We're not here to project our values. I'm a devout Christian, many of my court are, um, but we don't feel any need to spread that abroad. Our faith will show itself to others through its truth or else it will not. Uh, we have no plans to convert and force assimilation either culturally or uh, uh, religiously. I'm going to be quite frank with you, Ambassador. We're interested in the economic value of the region. Nothing more. It's about that simple for us. Yes, I understand. Uh, also, uh, your legislation is uh, quite accepting of other cultures, so we respect that. Uh, so, uh, if you want to cooperate uh, more, uh, the door is open. Uh. Well, in that case, I think I'd have, a, I'd have an offer for you. Hello? Uh, we, we would be, we're not looking for customs union, of course. What we would be interested in for you is if you would be willing to prioritize trade with Germ, uh, excuse me, Freudian slip, literally, uh, with Prussia above all others. So if you need imports, you come to us first. If you wish to export, you look to see us first and prioritize it if it's a similar cost. Uh, and even, you know, if it's just radically better to trade with someone else for it, we understand. But generally, you prioritize us for trade. We'd be willing to keep uh, the agreement, and we'd be happy to keep subsidizing you. It's already the case, and uh, we have only a few uh, uh, trade goods that uh, we better uh, get supply from other country, but most of them uh, come from your country, so... Very well, as if, long as you're willing to be cooperating with uh, trade markets. Uh, we don't have uh, many contacts with them. With who? Sorry, I misunderstood, maybe. No, I, I just mean, like, out of RP, what I'm meaning is if you trade, you always come to us, and unless it's just radically better to do it with someone else, you'll, you'll prioritize trading with us. Because we've got... Uh, our trade laws are free trade, so it's literally tariff-free. Yeah, got it. Is this agreeable? We can do that, yes. Yes, we can do that. Okay, beautiful. In that case, uh, we're going to continue to subsidize the Egyptian economy, and uh, we'll just keep cooperating with you then, as long as you are our number one trade partner. Well, thank you for your respect uh, and uh, your aid, uh, your help. Uh. Of course. It's a pleasure speaking with you, Ambassador. Safe travels back to Cairo. Same. Uh, good evening to you. And you. Hold on, what? All right, we're going to have to navally invade something here. God damn it. Um, Kingdom of Denmark. I don't know where it is, but we'll navally invade it. Uh, over here, I guess. Shit. You do know Prussia's uh, not Catholic, they're Protestant. Yeah, I know they know they're Protestant. Did I say Catholic? I didn't think I said Catholic, but yeah, I know that. 
I know that because I was raised Protestant. Because my family was my mother's side. I think they were well, there were a lot of British, but there's a lot of German too. I don't know where the Protestant came from. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see. We need more dynamite. All right, let's look at what we've got and what we don't got right now. Um, we are in excess of porcelain. Increases our quality of life, so nothing, no issues there. Let's export some furniture if we can. Not really valuable. Luxury furniture, not a lot of demand either. We're good electricity. How much more electricity would we need to completely light every street in Prussia. So let's start publicly trading some of these companies too. We'll make all these publicly traded. Maybe not all. Privately owned is actually better. We'll make our railways. They're not super profitable, though. All right, hold on. I gotta, gotta check something out real quick. Let's try that. Did I read that right? That's fine. How's the mighty Prussian Kriegs Marina? It's pretty solid. We're up to 73 right now. Prussia, uh, France is 170. The uh, UK is 200. We're going to get it up to, uh, to uh, 200. I'm just not rushing it. Economic development comes number one for us here. We're working on a lot. Good vintage. We'll go for prestige. How far are we behind number three? Austria's ahead of us. Well, the Kingdom of Prussia versus Denmark war going uh, well. The country swept into a uh, frenzy of war. The Conservative Party has issued letters of endorsements to uh, parliamentary candidates. They feel support the war effort. God damn right. Conservatives get more power. Good. We are going to play like a... We're going to play like a conservative Prussia for most of the game, but it will be like the... Not like just far right, not nationalist, not militarist, just like old school conservative. They're not opposed to like some degrees of reforms and liberalization, but they're not radicals, you know. <laughs> Anything else we want to change? We probably will go to racial segregation away from national supremacy at some point, but no rush. Yeah, we're chilling. This is about right. They just capped? Yes, they did. Yeah, they, we, won't, we can't take war reparations, but that's fine. We don't need them. We just need Chelsea Coolstone. And we got pan nationalism at the same time. Beautiful. With that. We will work. An out of RP conversation here, him. Uh, we might yes. have an issue with this war. What's happening? War has never been end. There is a revolution every Denmark that just uh, occupied Schleswig, and Denmark is currently in Greenland and at, in a civil war with Denmark. <laughs> oh, I see that. We might have to get this save at a end. I think we will. Yep. Fuck, that's going to fuck up our economies. Yeah, that's that's annoying for me because I was going to uh, I was trying to take Jutland too, and it just revolted. Uh, we'll ask for the save edit. We'll just wait till it's uh, at the end, and then ask for uh, we can ask for the GC to to edit out. We'll we'll just get that done for next session. All right, sweet. Yeah, 
That's a uh, that's yeah. That's gonna fuck us both. I've got <laughs> I've got mm. one point five million debt. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of money from this fucking war. It sucks. Yeah. Oh well. It's what it is. Yep. Sometimes the game fucks up, and as in sometimes with paradox games, it's all the time. It is quite a lot. That is very true. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll talk to Easting after this. Sounds good. Yes, this is an MP game. What's up, Manu? As long as they had Southern Protestant, Evangelical Lutheran camp slapped so hard, it was so catchy. Oh yeah, man. I stopped going to Prussian, uh, not Prussian, Jesus. Uh, Protestant churches when I got older, though. I think we went to Protestant churches till I was like 12. And then we went to like the much more like liberal kind. I went to a UU church for my early, like the, the my teen years. It was like much more like uh, secular. Did we not get fucking Schleswig Holstein? No, we did. We got it. We're fine. I'm gonna follow Baptiste 844. Hmm. Alright, cool. Successful war with the with the the Danes. It looks like Sweden's still getting fucked in the war, but we got out. Which is nice for our economy. Certainly could use it. Alright, we have 23 minutes left for this game. Let's go ahead and increase our law enforcement level again. Make our railways publicly traded. We will make our coffee plantations publicly traded. And our tea plantations publicly traded too. We'll make uh, crushing companies for them. Let's go ahead and do that as well. <laughs> hmm. Do we have an excess of electricity again? No, we don't. Let's jack its value up some more. Let's go ahead and light some more cities. We'll light Brandenburg. No, we already lighted Brandenburg. We'll light Saxony. That'll do it. That'll push its value up. Those cost us more money. It's fine. We're subsidizing the uh, the power plants, essentially. I think. Let me check. Make sure I did it right. Yeah, it makes a bit more. No, the increased cost is uh, the fucking engines. Engines are expensive, that's the issue. Do we not have any art? Are we making no art? Oh my gosh, I thought we were. Let's fix that. We'll build... 20 art academies in Brandenburg. We'll, do, we'll undergo a massive construction project for that. I just had in my mind we already had some, but we don't. And we need a lot. The benefit of making them publicly traded, from what I remember reading about, is it puts more money into the investment pool. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. When you're forming North Germany, we we'll have to do it very carefully because we've technically made a promise that we won't act militarily to take these states of Austria. So, uh, it's, it's tough to say when that will happen. I thought for some reason when you got pan-nationalism, more countries automatically join the Kingdom of Prussia, but that's not happening. That will not happen. Hello, Prussia. This is France. How are you doing? Oh, Master. What can I do for you? 
Hi, we, uh, <clears throat> we came to inquire about the situation in China. We see that um, the Spanish are having a revolt at the same time as them invading the Chinese, the Qing Empire. We see that this is not something that we should to do. Uh, the great powers dividing up China and taking land. They're planning on taking the island off the coast of China. Um, I think it's legitimate that the European powers have treaty ports into the Qing market, as you, as you have and as others have. Um, I would just ask that, just like we see in Africa, where there was a partition of some sorts and agreed upon by the Europeans, that we do the same in China, and that would include um, just, you know, basically Out of RP, myself. Uh, I think we, let's begin next session because we only got 19 minutes left. Let's begin next week's session with like a with a Congress for like Asia. You cool with that? Yeah, that's fine. I just um, this war is going to be over by the time. Uh, I mean, if I was maybe. you, I'd just walk in into Spain and be like. You're not taking Formosa until we have the Congress of Vienna, so you know. Well, they're also in a revolution. Like I don't want to, I don't want to. They got they have to deal with that. Yeah, but I'm it's not also gonna... the same thing with like Africa, right? Well, if we have a Congress of of Asia, I mean, Formosa might get transferred to someone else for concessions and all that kind of stuff. So like we'll just divide it up that way, you know? Yeah, that's fine. Right, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we're definitely uh, interested because th this is, um, you know, I think we spoke about this before, but obviously the European nations have. Interest in your in Asia, um, but uh, to to disrupt the market in the way that the Spanish and the Dutch have, where they've gone to two wars in less than five years against them, is uh, not something that we want to see the happen. The I agree. Over it's, and we over don't want a number another just a scramble that will result in some wars in Asia. So I'm fully on board with a with a conference. Okay. We will. Uh, we can talk about that next time then. Absolutely. And then, um, That was it. There was a oh oh, and then um, just so you know, I bought the southern part of Vietnam uh, from the Ottomans. So, oh hey Spain, how you doing? Hello there. Hello. Hello. Uh, would any of you mind beating down a socialist revolt in Spain? We would be happy to help you with that. Yes. Yes, uh, the thing is about to expire, so... We will join, but uh, there, we, w we wish to inform you that we want to call on a, another Congress of Vienna, considering what's going on in China right now. This is your second war in the Qing Empire in like five years, and it's destabilized the region and destabilized the economies of the world. And we fully while, agree, but uh, we're, we will have that uh, before too long. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that for next session, but... Um, uh, until then, we will join to put down the. We can't rebellion. allow extreme liberalism in in Europe. That is unacceptable. So we need to we need to put these extremists down. Yes, they got us backfooted when we had our uh, a big part of our troops deployed in China. Uh, the Prussian military is uh, on on its way to Spanish uh, shores, and we will be able to put them down easily. I'm sure. That is great to hear. Uh. We would like to mention regarding the uh, incursions in China that the only reasons that it, the Second War occurred is due to them uh, not abiding to the treaty that was set during the Shandong agreements. I understand that, but we can't keep just invading and destroying the economy of the Qing every time they disobey the Europeans. There needs to be some sort of European order in in China if we're going to continue to uh, have the economic situation remain the status quo. We can't have after, a war every five years. After so, this war, we will not have any more interest in the region. Out of I RP, mean, we're going to call a Congress of Vienna for the start of next week's session, and we're going to discuss Asia. You're conquering parts of China, and you think that it's... We don't need to get upset and start doing accusations. There will be a Congress of Europe for this and we will discuss it properly. Right. Makes sense. That's what's up, what I was about to come around and talk about. Yep. Out of RP, next session in the beginning, we'll have an Asian conference. Right. Uh, yeah. So I don't want to just rush in the last 15 minutes. We won't do it properly. Yeah, that's true. All right. So yeah. Thank you for the help. Of course. All right, so we are we're putting troops in. Uh, oh, there's still people in here. I'm streaming, so you know I'm not crazy. 
Uh, what what could I do for the ambassadors in here? Anything? I was just here to talk to uh, uh, Spain, but I guess they've left. So yeah. the ambassador runs, would the, uh, would the Prussians uh, like to normalize relations between us and resume our trade relations with the Kingdom of England? We're not opposed to a going back to a status quo. I, I assume the British crown has no interest in uh, contending our claims in Ethiopia and the, the region to the west of it. No, we uh, understand that they may be la layered upon other claims by na other nations. Very well. In that case, we're fine to return to a uh, status quo. All right. I shall be on my way and so the well, documents when they come. Very well. I mean, we we got what we wanted. We're not innately not wanting to trade with the British or be against their market, so that's completely fine. We just wanted to take a superpower down a peg, and we did, so... There's no reason not to keep working with them. At least trade-wise, you know. Let me check something. Spain is having a civil war of liberals currently. All right, so by the way, just because we're at the tail end, next session, uh, Queen Louise is going to die. I'm going to write an RP post about it. And the person who's going to start to, to basically gain power, since Frederick Wilhelm has none, uh, will be Bismarck. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna begin that portion of uh, the Prussian playthrough. That could result in some big, big changes, not for the better. Um, that might seriously hurt relations with Austria. Bismarck in this timeline, I don't think innately would be hostile to Austria because he was about German solidarity, but we will start to push more aggressively towards a unified Germany. So we might not succeed based on how we've kind of basically built politics for pressure up until now. It may backfire on us, but I want to RP it. So yeah, next session, I'll be RPing as Bismarck. He'll, he'll be basically the power in Prussia at that point. Uh, it's still springtime of the peoples right now. Damn. Oh, shit. We met the uh, Spanish fleet, and we are destroying it. Goddamn. Hell. Oh, we have a revolution upcoming again. Too extreme. We need more, we need more home office. This is why I'm building all these uh, government buildings. We're gonna use them to expand, uh, expand law enforcement. I wanna get it to max. We're gonna go all the way up to five. Did he take Formosa? He took Formosa. Ooh. France is gonna be fucking pissed. Now these wars are getting very expensive though, I will say. We're going to raise taxes again. It's really not the time for that, though. Oh, God. Construction doesn't help. That's all coming from construction goods. And the amount of money we spent on paper is fucking insane. Military is also killing us. Alright, we need to end this fucking war. This is actually damaging our economy. Give them all 
all the ships, and then we're gonna navally invade as well. Let's end this war. Spain having a civil war is very rare. Oh yeah, definitely. Spain never has internal issues in civil wars. They're so fucking stable. When I think of Spain, the first thing that comes to mind is stability. Every time, without, without question, without fail. It's the first thing I think of. Just stability. A stable place, a stable country. Absolutely. Quality of life has gone way up too. How are we looking in terms of Europe? Britain's way better. Belgium's ridiculous, but we have we have solid quality of life. Landlord generals, <laughs> some grace boy. Uh, was that the admiral? Yeah, he's a Junker. Yeah, our admiral's a Junker. Joachim von Klim. We got we see an opportunity to call in an obligation on Portugal owes us to request a service with one of their commanders permanently. He's not bad. We're pan nationalists right now. There's no way in fuck we'd do that. German German nationalism's on the rise. We wouldn't be hiring foreign generals at all. Oh my god, look at our economy. Alright, what are we missing in terms of military production? We need Need more munitions. You know why this is? We're not doing We're not doing this. Why is this not profitable? Explosives and lead. That's a that's a huge strategic issue. The civil war is unavoidable, by the way. Can stop it once it starts ticking. Yep, it just automatically goes. We almost have had one multiple times now. We've been very close. Hello, Hello there. Russia. We have ah. come to discuss uh, recent, um, well, uh, rumors that we've been hearing and news of um, of a world congress being called around the uh, yes. expansion. Well, over a couple uh, of we years, there's, to... a, there's a congress of Asia, I believe, planned to discuss. Uh, uh, dividing up of Asia as well for Europe. Yes. Well, we were wishing, we were wanting to come and discuss uh, what your um, what your opinions on the matter may be, and like how you feel, and also maybe uh, put to rest any worries uh, you may have. As we oh, do we still have no feel worries like about you. Don't don't get me wrong. I don't know what you've uh, been hearing, but we 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 didn't have an issue of what you've been doing. The French certainly did. Uh, and we just thought the best way to avoid any escalation was to just have a conference to divide up your uh, Asia a little bit more. Uh, we fully support Dutch Formosa, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, but we just want to not have France trench sort of war view and obviously we get dragged in and all, all sorts of things like that. So we just want it to be dealt with in a reasonable manner. Certainly. Well, we're glad to hear that. Uh, the, the rumors we'd been hearing were mostly around, um, you know, people uh, not supporting our... Um, our claims so much that Spain ended up uh, deciding to back down, which I feel sorry uh, for them as they did lose out on a large amount of income, which was mm. supposed to stabilize their uh, economy. Um, I feel sorry for them. However, our, uh, we're not able to support their economy any more uh, than would be reasonable. So uh, of course. certainly the pressure has harmed them. So we were wanting to just come in and uh, get a gauge and also discuss a possible uh, renewal of our uh, defensive pact as we have realized that that has come uh, to an end uh, that we had in the past uh, yes it's uh, awesome. came to an end <laughs> for some reason oh, yeah, and, so uh, worked, worked, we were... uh, as far as we were aware it was still active so that was a paperwork issue oh, well. I think yes I think I think uh, some uh, some of our administrators may have got it lost in the paperwork at some point someone needs fired that's I can tell you that we'll look into it yeah, well, well, we'll look on our end as well. Um, we've definitely got a cluster of uh, of paperwork everywhere, so just mm. it's an absolute mess over here. But we'll um, we'll, we'll thank you for clarifying uh, your opinion, and we do hope for constructive uh, discussion on the division of Asia. We'll reiterate and, uh, though, we we fully support our Dutch allies, and uh, we're not walking into this fully, planning to let European powers start as usual. 
I take land from the Dutch, I can assure you of that. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we're very glad to hear this. Uh, and we will be back on our way to Amsterdam to share this uh, wonderful news with our colonies. It's good to hear it. We will speak very soon, Ambassador. Thank you very much. Why are we hemorrhaging so much fucking money? God damn. Number 500. We're just gonna have to bear this. Until we, um, until we build these chemical plants and stuff, we're gonna just deal with this. Let's, let's just get that to happen a little bit earlier. It's the explosives and the lead that's breaking our economy right now. We need it really bad. We'll buy it from the British to start off with, and the Mexicans. And then uh, we'll replace it with our own production as soon as we can. What's up, Lev? Uh, quick question. What is the mod you're using right now? Looks great. It is the Babylon Roleplay mod. It's a mod we made for our roleplay community. Adds a bunch of features and things like that, and just makes, makes the game actually playable. Uh, I have a link for it. Let me look. We're using the beta version, which seems to be stable, so I'll link that one to you. There's the main mod, though, as well. I'll just link both. That's the main one, and then the other one is the beta. The beta's the one we're playing. It has a bunch of bug fixes on it that makes it better, and it is stable. Our tool is an issue as well. Uh, is that a temporary thing? It is an issue because we're exporting so much of them. We are currently exporting 7,000 tools a week. Um, so that's where that issue is coming from. We're a free trade, so we can't just protect more domestic supply. We could actually probably import some to offset that. Yeah, we'll, we'll import some from a few countries. Cheap Colombian and Moroccan tools, and then some Spanish tools as well. Yes, uh, we have a... Uh... The Spanish Foreign Office have made a concerning observation uh, mm. that should be discussed in the next council, which is the matter of Papua New Guinea. Yes, uh, it will do to discuss many parts of Asia. The conference will concern all of Asia, generally speaking, so that, that, that along with everything else will be covered. Very well. It, it will be something that Britain wants. That's completely fair, Same. but it will be also something pressure ones, so I'm sure we can come to an agreeable situation where everyone gets what they want. To a degree. Uh, I have informed France and the Ottomans about this. About um, what? But, the the uh, conference? Yes, about what we shall bring up at the conference. Very well. Are you aware of the Kingdom of Joseon and the Tokugawa Shogunate? We're very aware of them. Are you aware that they are currently isolationist realms? Yes, and I think one of the big issues there will be the fact that that's unacceptable and that they will need some firm European guidance going forward. Good, sir, yes. Uh, we were thinking of do popping that off beforehand, uh, but hearing that there's going to be a conference on it, we shall bring there, up the There are many again. things we also plan to do in Asia, and we're also just waiting for the conference before we instigate anything. Uh, we want to obviously get all of Europe to agree to what we're doing. Do you wish to share those plans? Frankly, uh... Well, I mean, the main thing is we need to discuss opening up Korea, Japan, deciding who will basically be the the people ensuring that they're brought under control, discuss how the Qing will be treated, discuss uh, the remnants of territories in Asia that's not currently controlled by Europe and how they'll be allocated, uh, generally speaking. Yes, um, but specifically of Prussia, what will they be asking for? In the matter. There's there's many moving pieces here, and we can't be sure until we hear everyone else's interests. All right, then. I, uh, I completely forgot what I was about to say. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's valid. All right, we're at six. That is game, I think. Yep. Yeah. This is oh. a fucking fun one, though. Goddamn. I would like to inform Prussia and Spain and Portugal here, however. Um, if you may keep this in confidence, 
France and Armenians inform me that they will be drawing a red line at the next conference over the island of Formosa. It's one of many matters that will need to be discussed there. Yes. All right, with that, we are going to go ahead and end tonight's stream. I thought about doing Kaiser Redux afterwards, but I'm going to be honest, I'm pretty pretty tired, and I don't think I do a good job of it. Um, so we're going to end here for the evening. Let's find someone to raid. It's been fucking fun. The Grand Campaign was so fucking fun this morning. The the, the Vic games have just been so fucking fun. Goddamn. Let's see if there's anyone to raid right now. Mm. No one I know. Let's go see if there's any good Vic streamers. Oh god, I'm gonna have to hear whatever's on the Twitch front page. I don't want to listen to some fucking. Oh, it's a Fortnite streamer. Of course, it's a Fortnite streamer. Victorious Re. I used to be actually pretty good at, at Fortnite. A long time ago. No, there is. Oh, there's two people. All right, forming an empire. We've got Italy Formation Guide. Italy Formation Guide sounds informative. He might be teaching some Vic Three. That sounds cool. Relatively civil Discord. He's, he's got a Teddy Roosevelt picture. I can respect that. We'll go raid him. Relatively civil discourse. This guy looks like he's teaching some Vicky 3 stuff, so if you don't know the game really well, might want to check that out. Generally speaking, I will be back streaming on Friday morning with some the third session of the Star Wars Stellaris game. It's going to be a huge war between the Confederates, uh, allied groups, the remnants of the Empire, and the rebel groups. On Saturday morning, we will actually start the Kaiser Redux game as the Fringe Exiles going to Napoleonic. More USAMD next Saturday afternoon. Next Sunday morning, we will have more of the Grand Campaign. Mega Campaign is uh, in uh, CK3. And then more of this, obviously, next Sunday afternoon. I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all have a good evening. And I will see you all later. Have a very good night.